everybody say anything about the one bag of green. One of the most always have um, my green screen background, right? I'm having a green turtleneck and I didn't even think anything of it. But I want to come and sit down and I look on the screen and I say, you know, so that probably look like a little bit too much green. But um, I'm already late, so I don't want to go change it and things. So I agree in our work right and now. Now we know I said that I'm going to make all of the labor right them happy. So all labor right are happy if say them one bag of green. And we know so the comrade them now go to please. I say all this green, but it's all good. I just ask you to work with me today. You see? Well, because my camera got change this now. You understand? All right? Watch your right. like an after dinner mint I'm, I'm not even gonna try to understand me not, no me not even gonna try if you understand Juggle and come in your seats. 
numbers are bit. The number they are 69 right now. We need to move quick. The number they are 69 right now. You know that a face it favorite number. You know and um, who else like that number? They probably you know it's a lawyer like that number. They it just dropped to 64. I don't know. Let's talk over um, the time from TV page. You see your element gone at the labor rights settings and thing it start already done. Worst like a big campaigning and rings down at Jamaica, don't Donna Robinson, what you just post? I love 69. The number. <laughs> yeah, tease them, yes, Donna. Tease them. Tease them. Tell them, but don't tell them. Tell them what not tell them. Tell them what not tell them, Dara. Yeah. So you say, if enough money are a show, I don't just did a talk about that, you know? We well, wait for the people them come in. We well, wait for the people them come in. Wait there, wait there, wait there. So we pretty punchy, I call Java Twin now. Thing, you know, but the hunger just the hunger just kick in for me, you know. But you don't know, I have to hold it down. Next week, Friday, I have a week to go. I have a week for go. One more week, I and thing, and we'll go down. All right, start looking late today so people in my juggle and I come in, you know. 
Alright, you know, so a long time we don't do a roll call. We could do a roll call and see what we do now, right? Which part of the right you know? Right this minute, I watch right you know? Right? Just want a roll call. We don't just post up and tell me what we do right. This thing is too loud in the maze. Yeah, man, we just want to post and tell what we do right now. Alright? Someone, you know, say the hungry. Me good, you know, me good old the end just as I start the show. Look hungry come for me, but it will come by, you know, but you have to kind of, you know, you kind of work through it and it is like it go away, you know. And what really happened, the body I do what it's supposed to do in fasting, where it had, you know, it had drying pan the fat them and this and that and whatever. Anyway, I'm going to see what I go with the roll call. Someone say Kingston, uh, Kingston, you know. Kingston, Canada, Kingston, Jamaica, big up yourself, Simone. Sandra said the Bronx, G Stop, you don't know a T dot, you know, Canada. Yeah, Donna Roberts, now Ian Jagai, a flirt. Ian say, I'm ready for the 69. Donna say, yes. Oh, big up all who proud down the 69, because I don't have nothing for hide this sort of thing. It's not even like a thing anymore, it's just par for the course. People that live them life and I do what them want to do for enjoy themselves and them privacy and thing. Big up on yourself, dog. Mr. Brown Brown of Queens, New York. Um, Ellie said, in my bed, cuddling. I think she meant to say cuddling with my boy in London, you know. She got a little one there with her, you know. One oh, Del Marine says she over there in the wilderness in a cool Cali. Like, see, what's a Del Marine in cool Cali? But... I run she walk come running pan and look a winter thing where we are going with right just so you know. What about this about cool? Like, what don't know about cool? Anyway. Mr. G said T dot to the flipping world. I got them for no. I said got the Sao Paulo, Brazil. You know, we need for touchdown of Brazil, but anytime I go to Brazil again, more go a carnival, probably like next year. People, you know that, you know that go carnival next year? A Brazil? Feed them carnival different, you know, me I tell you, you know. Of course, I'm a party in the street. All over, the, all over the nation. All over the nation. But, you know, you know the, the carnival parade. It's two nights of it. And it go right through each night. So you have a bleach. You have to make sure you sleep in a day. I've done it a couple of times and whatever. It's amazing. In fact, Alright, yo, if we put that on the Ragashanti, when the Ragashanti Travel Club list, for, it's too late for next year because it's a go on around them time, it's a go on. It's too late for this year because around them time, it's a go on. But people, if we put that on the, on the Ragashanti um, Travel list for next year, we know that go? Can't, we go Brazil, you know? And you know, them have them beach and whatever. And just so you know, January, February, I feed them summer. Yeah, uh, uh, for them summer, really. Right, you know that go? There's much to do there, you know. Nice beaches and, um, you know, Brazilians know how for party, may I tell you, you know. They know how for party, you know, for something like that. And you have different um, stuff where we can do. But more than one want to go, the float, you know. Because carnival is a beer party, all kind of things. And when they're Brazilian, it's like the country shut down. No, no biz. It's just party. Everywhere you go party. When we say everywhere you go party. In a street, you know. Everywhere you go party. It's just a different vibe. It's like the whole nation just. It, it's a thing down there. But them have this thing away at the, at the place for name. God, what name? Sambo Drummo. Sambo Drummo, right? It's like a little stadium and thing. And you see the floor. It's amazing. One of the things I have to be careful of with this Ragashanti Travel Club is that. Um, there's stuff that I would love, you know, but you know, me don't want to assume so una gonna like it too, you know. But um let me see if anybody said them would I go. Donna Roberts says she would I go. Dee Dee says she would love to go to Brazil. Yeah.
Sandra Mata Reed say yes if you're paying for it because my birthday is next. Yeah, man, sit down there and wait. Sit down. It's soon come, man. <laughs> Was it the <that> puppy show? <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm going to think about that, you know? Brazil Carnival for next year. Them, them dates change, you know, in a set. Sometimes... Most of the time it's in a February, but sometimes it goes by in a March and things. So every year different. So we'll have to see what I go on this. But anyway, I'm going to go and look on the roll call no? and see what people there. Pretty Punch says she has sit on her chair on her desk. Crystal said Dallas. And of course, God says Sao Paulo, Brazil. Lira is Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Hamilton is a city, Ontario is a province, and Canada is the country. Right? The G going to the full hundred. Kalingo Noa? Oh, I'm going. Over there in Mississauga. He's over at the Ragas and the Peach Pan Facebook. Um, Mass as a Montreal. Montreal get lively now. Montreal kind of quite. I like Canada, no, you know. Canada kind of. The energy level lower, you know, but them party too, and them have them club and them this and Jamaican community is vibrant there, but Canada is just you still have unruly behavior, you know, unfortunately, and whatever. Not just Jamaicans alone, the Indian them come over there and not only Indian but other Asian. And them are going to beer things up there too, you know. I misbehave. But overall, Canada is just so much more disciplined. It's more quiet, it's quieter. I'ma like it. It's just a cool me can deal with. Romeo said North Carolina. Trinidad St. Thomas, Jamaica. People Trinidad St. Thomas, Jamaica. How she reach down this out? I would I would you have a St. Thomas Jamaica Trini. Eh? You know it's one big party you go down there though. Anyway, still. I want it, but you know? Leticia Douglas, Spanish Town, Jamaica, and different Leticia that you know is not the Attorney General for New York would just get a victory over the boss, Ringy, you know? The judge had a Ringy for pay, but it's $355 million. Yeah. <laughs> Take it to Ringy, you know? And tell Ringy, say, you can't run a business in a New York state for three years. And tell Ringy to son them. Dan Jr. and Eric say, Uno can't run a business in New York for two years. So, you know, Ringy, I go appeal it still, you know, but why? Ring, right now, Ringy don't like the name Leticia. Worse is a black woman, too. Ringy, nah, feel that. D and I can big up yourself, you know, you don't know some man rate you like that, you know. Okay. Simone say, Kingston, Jamaica, Saskia. What land it? Uh, oh, a long time Saskia this. D-E. What about that? Delaware. I did try it. Delaware. I want, no nah, man, I, know, I, know, I want different Saskia this. J. Lovely Plantation, Florida. What? What? That's the one I place me want to live, you know. I love over, you know. You know, you know, I really, you know, Fort Lauderdale proper, you know. And there are Lauderdale lakes, but Plantation, you know, Plantation. That plantation has these nice gated communities, you know. And, um, you know, you could have found like all a nice house in there, with, you know. You know, it's a mad thing about something and thing and whatever. But anyway. Damn it. Me born unruly. Done it, my band and rolling. Virginia Beach, Virginia, big up yourself. Lady G. Great good is Tampa. Love Letna? No, wait. Lovely Letna? Illinois, the Plains. Sonia at work, downtown Toronto. Samantha Ferguson, Denmark, big up yourself, Samantha. We need to get your link for know if there's anything interesting where we could have make a trip to Denmark. I have stuff that I want to learn about more with Denmark. But it's stuff that other people find boring. 
I'm fascinated about your educational system and the social system and so forth. And I'm just curious as to why these Jamaicans that I know just said, I live in Denmark. I've been in Denmark. It's great. Yeah, I have friends who, you know, they're more on the intellectual side and stuff, academics and things. But they've been to Denmark and they just think it's the best. And I want to know why. Why them things? So Samantha, give me the link, you know, and just make know if we can, if there's some interesting things about Denmark where you can put together some activities to make it like an interesting trip for people that want to go down. And then would I just go over there, go check it out and think, no, I'm serious, you know, Samantha, give me a link, link my pan, send, send me an email, last. Uh, well, let me go, let me give you, ragashanti at gmail.com, easy thing, just send me an email, this one, or send me a text. On the 929 number, I need to, um, you know, fix up them thing there. Definitely, you know, Samantha Ferguson, I'm serious. Pretty Punchy said, What is 69? You know, they take people for idiot. Yeah. When they hear people ask them questions, they say, them No, I know good. Probably bad pun it too. You understand? Pretty Punchy, you see how they are bad girl, you know. Christina, a.k.a. CBS, standing at my desk in sunny Miramar. Okay, large of Sicily over there in Allentown, Pennsylvania. That place is famous for something. I don't know as what. Was it like some big murder case or something? That, that place is famous for something, you know. Marvelin Morris, Plains, New Jersey. Sonia. Sonia said, nothing wrong with the number 69. I need a bad girl, you know. You see, don't be tell you about them. The bad people live, you know. You see, the big of it. Sonia and Pretty Punchy. Yeah. All right. Healy, Springfield Gardens, Queens. All right, Healy. Um, Ian Jagai. Yes, Dana Robinson, bring on that 69, yeah, my girl. I'm big up to Mr. Raga. Why why you, why you big up 69 with Dana and then you go big me up to United and whatever? My you just separate the thing, then, man. Ian Jaga, yes, Dana Robinson, bring on that 69, yeah, my girl. Full stop. We're Jamaican, just say full stop. We're not superior, don't. <laughs> right. And big up Mr. And big up to Mr. Raga up. If you separate them, take them out. Where are you going? Maxine Palmer in London, big up yourself, you know. Delmarine said, cool over, over, over Cali today. Soretha Sims over there, Negril Jamaica, right? Negril Jamaica, big up yourself. Sonia Brown, Saint and Jamaica, big up. Natasha Dripool, Manhattan, large up. Oh, God's a carnival just finished on Wednesday. Okay. God, which, um, what do call it again? When am I do the, um, when am I do carnival at Jamaica and I'm have the float, the parade at the stadium, I'm going to tell you about Samba Drummer. People, them have, them have tiers, you know, them have about three tiers and it come in like, like a football league, you know. You have to win your way up, like if you, like the top two, going at the second tier and then the top two will win this, so going at the third, in, in at the first tier. And the last two, you know, the first tier get demoted and the same thing go down. So you always have, you know, teams that build up and then teams that go down. And it's like, it's like a football team, but of course it's about the floats, it's about carnival. And you have woody for money, it's millions of dollars associated with it, you know. And when you're there at the top, it's like you're in at a Premier League, you know. And you get to compete up this one and, and thing and whatever, and big sponsorship and whatever. People, they work all year, all year for each, for each um, carnival. So the whole year, them are work on it, so... It's them job the whole year before them get to the float. And when them are do for them floating you know, people, who don't know, say, what do you know about float? I'm not going to Jamaica. Trinidad good to you know, but Brazil are lead this man. I tell her them things are normal, man. You need to see that. No, I'm going to do it next year, you know. I figure when the carnival dates next year, we're going to carnival next. All right then.
John G, of course. East Grande. All right. See, the day and I can say should I go Brazil. Of course, Brazil need for see you. Because you are real good as around here. Brazil need for see you, Dian. Um, Kim P said, under my duvet working in Seattle. You work under your duvet? Eh? And what kind of work you had? Eh? He came? And what kind of work you had under your duvet? You work under your duvet, though. Okay, all right. Diva! Panama City Beach, Florida. Don't they say you yeah, big up yourself, you know? Marsha said, Queens. Um, Jeremy South Carolina. Yeah. Doggy, Brooklyn. Antasha from the Anthony's crew. Montclair, New Jersey. Yeah, see? Titania, Fort Lauderdale. Tamitha, Oglethorpe County. Oglethorpe, Oglethorpe County. Mm -hmm. uh, big up yourself in a charm. Carol, of course, North London, Nasswich, Richmond, Virginia, traveling to Quebec. Yo, Chokisha, you know, easy, you know, you always dip on the move, you know. Uh, uh, my scroll, I go down. Audrey, watching it from the western side of Jamaica. Okay, West Palm Beach. Let's see, West Palm Beach. Okay, Pensacola, Florida. Yeah. Yes, Samantha, make that link there. There's a Jamaican that has a bar in the center of Copenhagen. I'm there. Just, just, just let me know. I'm there. I'll make it happen. A them link them. Why? 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 We find the Jamaican link them and whatever to make the trip them interesting, you know? Because in the jump, I even know what questions to ask those people to find out what we can curate, you know, to make the trip them interesting to Jamaicans and Jamaicans affiliates and Jamaican descendants. And that's the plan, you know? I'm going to Grenada too, you know, I talk to Sonia about it. I say big things going on Grenada in August. I need to touch down there. All right. Um, Tonnet, Farmers, Queens. All right. You're, you're there near to me. Uh, I'm pretty punchy, but I'm new here in the classroom. No, even I look for you. Um, Spruce. Boom, bad. For Spruce, I'm going to link here yesterday. No, sorry, I'm going to link after the show. Yes, Spruce. I'm going to link after the this, this show. Karen Robin. Um, Brooklyn in the house, Donna, big up yourself. And Karen Revenue said, I was just watching your interview with Desmond Martin in Ethiopia. Yep, that was a memorable interview, man. May I tell you, that man, um, he, um, boy, I'm impressed me so much. Desmond Martin, you know, one of the, um, at the time when I interviewed him, it was in 2015. And at that time, he was in Ethiopia for 40 years. And um, he had never been back to Jamaica, you know. And went through hell, you know, to forget for stay there and thing. And it was just amazing, you know. Because he was um, a member of the 12 tribes of Israel. And them did save up money and send one one people go over and he was the third one we go over, you know, from people who save up from way back in the most of the seventies and them time there and thing. Just an incredible um personality and thing and you know and to just see his evolution as a Jamaican who, you know, repatriated to um Ethiopia and to and to um and to understand that nexus between you know, highly Selassie is Christianity and Rastafari and his understanding of it, you know, solely through Rastafari and, you know, seeming contradictions and consistencies and whatever. It was just amazing, you know. Them little stories there, you know. It's like telling people stories 
telling people's stories, traveling the world and telling people's stories, particularly the stories of Jamaicans, you know, all over the world. Sham Sweetness said, nothing like a Bahamas carnival. Sham, I don't want you vex, you know. I tell you, say, Bahamas carnival, I don't know what the float is like and whatever, you know. But I tell you, Brazil a lead. Brazil a lead. All right. D and I can, they say, bikini for days. Which part? Day? <laughs> when you say bikini for days, I'm bust them head with some bikini, down. Oh, you yeah, mean, D? Them for see you. Yeah. Okay, all right. Jagans, big up yourself. All right, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, may I look on the thing them. Jennifer, yeah. Queens, yeah. A Queens are doing it now, you know. Um, Anthony Paris said, uh, B. Clark, I just reached, just finished cooking lie. He never did a cook. Uh, he can't cook. <laughs> you know, it's a misery love company because me can't cook. But they are done the G. Uh, what happened to Little Thunder Sound? Andrew Brooks, Northwest London. Little Thunder Sound, still the boat man. I'm still there, Montreal, Canada man. And I go on good. I want to and I win sound clash and all these things. Right? Big up John of Ross and thing and the whole crew. Little Thunder Sound. All right? So Andrew Books just know so them they about see me, man. Look at Thunder Sound still a juggler and I do them thing, yeah? Um DNA can say Brazil. Christina said Bahamas and a Christina, why you put Bahamas and a laugh? Okay. Uh, Chokisha says, as versatile as I am with many skills, nothing pays like this, so I stay on the road. Um, okay. Jennifer Dawkins, Raga, this is Odette Mom. Which Odette? Like, Tam Fam Odette? <laughs> Christina said, because you never hear said Bahamas Carnival turn up. Christina, bah, you never hear that yet. Oh, Bahamas, nothing not going for Bahamas Carnival. Damn. I saw you think that. Anyway. Shoika, Raga, how come I got no notifications you were on? I don't know. People complain about that all the time. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what is going on there. And I, and I would think, oh, all right, Jennifer Dawkins. Why well, you don't know then? So you don't know your family member, you know. Your Odette Ryan mother, of course, you know. Cookie, today your birthday. <coughs> I lie. Cookie, today your birthday. All right, no, I'm never give, I'm never sing. Cookie, um, you know, you, you probably never know, but I can't sing like Luther Vandross, right? Like, like really good. Like Luther Van Just so cooking me gonna sing like Luther Van Just for you right now. And think just cause of you, you know. So I'm gonna channel some Luther right now, you know? And then just like shell down the thing, right? And uh, alright, cookie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cookie. Old Ginal Cookie and thing like that disappear sometimes and all these things. Cookie with the turn up sat out and thing and what no with the pop down sat out and thing like that and whatever, 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 but loyal to Tam Fam for years upon years upon years. Happy birthday to this is it. This is the Luther Vandross. The Luther Vandross. Like ending. Like, like, listen. Perfect. Listen. You. Oh, bad stuff. Wole, brother. Wole, wole, wole with the Luther head. Wole, wole, wole. Big up yourself by your earth strong in a cookie. Everything is everything. All right. <coughs> Juliet Legor, your green is blending into the wall. Yeah, we talk, I talked about it earlier. No, <laughs> Sandra. Sandra Martin Reed, I did all of that because I'm not a good singer either, right? So anyway, um, 
yeah, so Cookie, big up yourself and you're strong, you know. You don't know you shoot out there, don't. Big up yourself and your good, good shoot out there. I want, I want to hear about. Where is a Cookie? I mean, you must boss, don't. I murder when we take it to them, don't. When we put them, we tune them out there and all these things and bring back the vibe in the R&B. Yeah. Watch out when we roll out. Anyway, big up yourself, Cookie. Yeah. Juliet, don't worry yourself, man. We know it come, man. I want to you, you know, people have to take time to come in. You know, people have responsibilities and all these things and whatever. We know the levels. All right, people. First things first. What is this thing out there? Um, people, when me wrong, man, I have no problem. I tell people say me wrong, you know. Well, in this case, it's not really wrong, but it's... um. What's the worst thing a man can do? Direct? No, I know this more. I know this more. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Oh, I guess I didn't send it over. Thought I did. Um, No, no. Okay, we'll leave that. So, a couple of things first before we go to the phone lines. Um, So, you remember yesterday, I'm going I'm to go off and I say, yo, I like that thing they were seeing there doing, you know. Cindy Breakspear are doing, she had take it to them about the One Love movie, the Bob Marley movie. And she keep on and bring up Damien and I, Damien. And me, I said, well, what Damien have to do with it, right? I don't know, so I'm take it to her and hand it to her, right? Now, people, I haven't seen the movie. I was supposed to see the movie yesterday evening at a, you know, Soundchat Radio was doing a thing yesterday. But, you know, there's some stuff that I'm doing. I'm really busy here. I remember me telling her, say, after me have the show them up to Wednesday of next week. After that, I will not be having any show on Thursday and Friday of next week. And I will not be having any show for the entire week in the following week, okay? There's some, some stuff me have to do, right? So I'm really busy and I deal with that. But, so you remember Carla yesterday said that... um. You know, we're friend from um, you know Canada, and she said, "No, nah, Cindy Breakspear was if you you know when she watch a movie, she said if you're Quint, you don't even see her the, the character will play her in night and thing and whatever and so forth." And then you recall that I I kept saying, "Yeah, she keep on with this thing about Damien and Damien, like she she include Damien in night." So me I say, "You know, if she make an argument for herself, for say she should have been um." you know, prominently featured in the film. Why she keep on to bring up Damien? And I mean, I say, yo, that just, you know, it kind of sound like, you know, she's kind of, you know, pandering to the gallery by just bringing in her son or whatever, like, you know, look a clever way, you know, to engender sympathy and thing, you know, particularly given the popularity of um, Damien, Junior Gong. <clears throat> but up to that point, I haven't seen the movie. That's why I must watch a movie, you know, watch thing before you say something about it. But up to that point, I kept people kept saying, no nah, man, I just, you know, Rita and Bob and the picnic them feature and I that's what I people who watch it, you know, kept saying that to me. But yesterday I hear somebody say Damien Gang wasn't even mentioned, didn't it? Again, I haven't seen the movie, you know. But before when I hear people say no, I just a pitney them mentioning it. I just thought it included the pit of them, you know, Bob Pitney of them. But um so I was like, hold on, Damien wasn't mentioned in it. I wonder. No, people again I haven't seen the movie. I don't know what's up, you know, but um if it is a case that Bob's children were featured in the movie prominently, which I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, and I'm going to be redundant. I just want to emphasize. And if in featuring the kids, um, Damien wasn't featured in it at all, then that would require us understand Cindy's mentioning of Damien's name in a different context, right? So I remember my argument yesterday was my problem with Cindy is that she's of the opinion that 
she's coming over like, you can't tell Bob's story without mentioning Cindy, you know? And I'm like, yeah, you can. <laughs> you know, depending on what the focus of the story is. And it's a tricky thing, you know? If you're telling Bob's story and Rita is figured prominently in it and Cindy thinks she should be figured prominently in it too. It's a sore issue with them. It has long been there. And um, Cindy has been adamant that she's in the picture and should be in the picture. Um, and it has been the source of um, numerous debates. You know, with a wifey matey thing and, you know, and, and you know, all kind of debates. And we're like, Cindy's not really a matey, you know, because Cindy was really up there. And, you know, so Cindy be regarded in the same light as Rita then, whatever. All this stuff. Which I'm not going to be preoccupied with. But what I'm saying is that specific, you know, Cindy specifically, um, you know, keep mentioning Damien. And, you know, and I had a problem with that. But if it is the case that the other children were figured prominently in the movie, I haven't seen the movie, and um, Damien wasn't, yeah, then I can understand a mother a defend her son, you know? And, yeah, it count for something that um, Damien Mondi is considered the most successful Marley child. That too has been the source of debate, you know. A lot of people them have problem with that, you know, and them are talk about, you know, passive racism, you know, where, you know, people have. I'm not getting into some of the stuff that was said, but people have this thing that you know you have on one side people are say. Well, you don't know the world work already. No wonder the one son who have a white mother, you know, say he turned out to be the most successful one. So that is the argument on one side. The other side is, and people like me will say, well, Damien is talented. <laughs> he is talented. There's no question there. He's talented. So, he should be rewarded and recognized for his talent. At the same time, we'd be disingenuous if we're going to say Damien is not, Damien did not benefit from the Marley name. And um, two, a lot of Damien's production was done by Stephen Marley, his brother, you know? You know and and um, legend has it that Stephen, when when things did get ticklish and the siblings weren't, you know, never really grew up together, legend has it that Stephen was the one who showed Damien love and said, come in, man, and whatever, and, and shoot him out and thing and make him, you know? Whatever, so, and um, Damien is very grateful for that and is supposedly very close to Stephen. But Damien is talented in his own right. <clears throat> so the point I'm making, though, there is all this debate there, too, about why Damien Marley became the most successful Marley child. And you have arguments on both sides you know but i don't think it's a one-sided issue remember he didn't go on and sing conscious reggae music like all the marley kids mostly did um him do a dj thing you know a dj and a sing j thing you know and he take off you know and he's talented um in his own right and should be recognized as such but I, I would like to correct myself and to say if it is really the case that the other ch kids were prominently mentioned in the movie and Damien wasn't, 
then I can understand whatever whatever the merits are of the whatever arguments are put forth. I can understand why his mother was you know kept mentioning in his name relative to the movie because she would have been doing so in the context like yo and always have problem with me because uh, me a supposedly the side woman with Bob and now I come put it for my son too right and that's where she would have come from so whether you agree with her or not that's a mother defending her child and when she defend her child she gonna call up her pick the name or what well yeah or she gonna call up her pick the name so that me that me understand then it would make sense and why she keep on a call um Damian name Okay, so I stand um, corrected with that. Two quick video. Many of you know Andrew Tate, right? And I must admit, I'm, I'm not a fan of Andrew Tate. But I consider myself a, a mature and um, disciplined thinker who does not let emotions get the better of me in my analyses and in my assessment of people, in my assessment of their scholarship, of their arguments, of whatever it is they're putting out there. So I can disagree with somebody about one thing and agree with them about something. There are people out there I don't like. <laughs> yeah, there are people out there me don't like them. But there are times when the, even if the people that I don't like them make some good point about something or whatever, I'm mean, like, you know, you know, so yo, there's a solid argument that I'm going to learn something from them. Yep. I learn from my enemies all the time. I learn from my enemies all the time, you know. And I would encourage you all to, um, you know, have that capacity to where you don't have to be friend with a guy or be friend with somebody, a woman who don't like you. But if them, you know, deliver something that has value, educational value, and have some sort of um, utilitarian value to or whatever, something that you can apply in your life and to make yourself better, don't let your emotions and your dislike for them prevent you from um, welcoming that opportunity to learn and grow. All right? Um... So I'm not a fan of Andrew Tate for different reasons, you know. But I hear him make a talk, and for the first time, I'm just like, boom, dude, I'm connecting with you right here. I'm feeling you, man. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. No, 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 Ziggy, Ziggy Mall is not the most successful. In fact, Ziggy's the oldest boy, and because of that, you know, and he was the de facto leader of the Melody Makers, which was the first group of Marley children um, to come out and, and, and do stuff. And um, <laughs> we never want to go in it, and that is why some people have said Ziggy a bad mind, because Junior Gun um, came and eclipsed him in terms of popularity and success and all of that, and that Ziggy I carry feelings for because... You know, Ray, 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 and this and that or whatever. So there's all kind of family stuff there or whatever. But anyway, back to um, Andrew T. We all believe 2 plus so, 2 is 4. I, people, there's a lot going on out there in society right now where, and some of it I was, I was kind of avoiding it, but, there's a woolly thing going on. And with all, do you respect the irony? He's, he's going to comment on it. The irony with him commenting on it is that what he's commenting against, one of the persons who he adores a lot, <laughs> he's the one, he's also responsible for a version of it, right? Which is Donald Trump. And what he's commenting against is that there are people out there distorting reality. And there's a lot of that going on right now. There are people out there just tearing apart conventional wisdom in so many areas. 
There are people out there confusing, muddling the thing, you know? And like I said, it was deliberate. Donald Trump was de this deliberate when he does it. He's, he's a master of it. Sometimes I, you know, I was just like, yo, he's so crafty, you know? But he's real good at um, confusing things and not making things come look straight, you know? In his own way, you know, for his own constituency that he's targeting. Him don't confuse it for me, but me see, oh, him confuse it for other people. But outside of even Trump, there is a lot going on out there with some, you know, with, you see, with the trans thing, right? You ever heard me mention before that if somebody want to identify as something, I actually don't care, <laughs> right? This man him identify as a deer and go put on all this deer something and gone in the woods and then hunt go see him and bust a shot in him and whatever. I say, yeah man, you know deer, you know that deer do America, deer get shot. You should have known. If you identify as a deer, you know whatever. But anyway, there are people out there identifying as pigs. I really believe them are pig. This woman identifies as a blind person so she threw a chemical in her eye and blind herself. Because she said she's really a blind person. This 60 odd year old man went to court, someplace in Europe, went to court and said, I identify as a 40 odd year old person. So you yes, should have a right to be a 40 odd year old person if I identify. So there are these people who choose to identify as something and they're saying that they must have a legal right to be what they want to be. Now, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm not going to get caught up in that. But, hey, do you, you know? <laughs> you want to identify as a bad post, be a bad post. I don't care, you know? So, whatever you want to identify. So, in the realm of sexuality, we have a lot of that, as we have discussed before. So, based on what is going on out there now, in terms of gender and sexuality, according to those people, there's more than 400 and odd genders out there, at, at a minimum. <laughs> you can you can Google it, how many genders there are, and there's one of them going to come up, and there's just a lot, right? So basically, when these people say they are non-binary, the prefix bi means two. So they're saying... They're saying basically we have been indoctrinated and brainwashed to believe that it's only man and woman exists. And they're saying there's way more than those two, man and woman. And some of these other genders, they say, they're physical. And most of them, they're psychological. So some of them are physical, right? Some you, the, the, the the most um, visible example is an hermaphrodite, who their people were born with both genitals and both you know you know whatever. Um, you can if somebody is there is, is you know if there is some sort of genetic anomaly occurring with somebody there, and they're feeling some sort of you know, confusion, you know, with the duality that um, no fault of their own, they were born that way. You can't tell that person, you, you, you can't be so, you know, not understanding if that person is like, no, I'm neither man nor woman and I'm something else. Because that's how they born. So you can't, you can't go force that person to be man or woman. Hmm? So you do have those physical um, um examples that are legitimate in my opinion you know to say they're non-binary they're neither male nor female and it makes sense okay however there are others who have defined non-binary to mean there is no male or female It doesn't logically follow. If you say you're non-binary because there is more than two, and whatever you, your one, do outside of the two, what we know, 
then fine. That that's we do you, you know, live your life, you know, and you I guess you should have a right to be what you want to be, right? But it's not logical to say that because there's more than two, we now must invalidate the original two where we know. You can't tell me, say, man and woman don't exist. A foolish is here, come and tell me that. So be where you want to be. Don't come attack me, you know, and if you, you are get for defined where you want to be. And because me say, no, me is a man, you're going to tell me, say, me, no, me is not, me. no man no exists. And if me are insist, say, me is a man, you are going to tell me, say, me a perpetrate a false doctrine that a cause other people to kill themselves. Because by me saying, me a man, the people them who are struggling out there who are not men and whatever this and that, I am causing all this and whatever. No. Please to F off. Because this year this me this so now. You understand? You a fight for say you want to be who you want to be. And then when we over so when woman has said no, them a woman and man has said them a man. You have to tell them say them not for do that because when them do that, you know, nothing ever so it falls because non-binary mean man and woman no exist. And, and what? No, nah, I'm not giant that something. Like and this effort to normalize it where they're in the schools and they're actively pushing this thing on the children, I don't agree with it. So be where you want to be. I, I, will, I will argue for you to be what you want to be. I'll, I'll say, hey, it's not my thing. I, I, I don't see it. But low the man, if the man wants to identify as um, a lollipop sexual, then be a lollipop sexual. Whatever, right? Go you, you know, whatever. Leave the man alone, leave the woman alone, right? When you have this agenda you now where you say, boy, and this thing spread in, in Western countries where you deliberately are going to the schools you now for indoctrinate. Um, the kids, the man thing and whatever. And then now, you bring it over in a level now where you have the schools and make these regulations where you punish the parents them if the parents them are telling the them, say, no, you're a boy or you're a girl. But you over there, a teacher pitting them and I say, no, 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 you're not a boy or a girl. We're not going to give you a gender yet, you know. You don't have anything yet. When you get big, you pick where you want to be and whatever, right? But you have to tell them picking the parents now, so them not have a right for call them boy picking the boy or them girl picking the boy. And not only you do that, you want to punish them too. Go a man. Right? So that changing the, that distortion of reality there, we are going out there. I find it very troubling. And part of the reason why I find it very troubling is this. No care where you're going to the world. The, the, you know, you know, we know that there is a cultural diversity all over, right? Since the dawn of humanity, you know, based on regional differences, and then eventually when the formation of nation states, you know, national differences, um, ethnic differences, there are differences amongst humans all over the world. But you know what I find interesting is that there's a simple thing out there where no matter how much difference is out there, no matter how many differences out there in the world, the thousands, millions, billions of differences out there in the world, there's one thing amongst human beings, you know, that was never ever challenged indisputed and is that man and woman exist you have all these differences in diet in food in costume in in concepts of who, which god this and the god of the sun and the god of the earth and the you have all kind of differences and different interpretations and whatever and whatever not the never challenge that thing as a man and woman exists, you know. 
any culture you go, any point of you, he, man and woman exist. You may have rules about woman must do this, a man must do this, a woman must do this, a man must do this. You have all those differences. But what is undeniable in all of that is that man and woman exist. No culture from the dawn of humanity has ever disputed that. And now we have these people right here. So now, I go tell we say, we wicked. We wicked by saying man and woman exist. Go away from here, so man. You can't come tell me that. Right? And I want to stand up strong. We don't have to argue with them, you know, because in a certain circles, they have a whole heap of power and whatever. And again, you know, I have nothing against them being where they want to be. You know. But don't come tell me, so me, 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 me. And then now, too, you can't reach me now. You have to systematically introduce this thing, you know, where you move to I and I children, them now. And they, they, I tell them them something they know. And then when me now I talk to Mike, you know, you want to use the law against me? So we need to be careful, like. And like me, I say, I am not a fan of enough things where this youth here, Andrew T. had said. But I want to know, listen where the dog has said right here, so you know. Because he's right on the money, and I want you to listen. You know, this allegory where I'm used to making point. I want to listen very carefully because I tell you, the first time me him talk, I'm a connect with him right away. And I say, yes, Mr. Tiet, you think solid right you now. So I want to listen to me and, and pay attention closely you know, because the thing I go on out there, them I confuse the thing and I cloud up the thing. You understand? All right, watch your right. We all believe two plus two is four. We don't have enough time scale to humanity. All right. I want to understand what I'm saying. All right. I want to know pre what I'm saying. Right. So I say people out there run a psyop. And they might change reality. And they say them do an experiment. So they have five monkeys in one place. See? And then put a banana up on top. And when one of the monkeys go for a banana, them go so brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
you start pre something where you never did a pre something. Just want to listen when you must say again, you know. Right? Just one more time, all right? Watch your right. Okay. We all believe 2 plus 2 is humanity. Mmm. Yeah, man, we have start and I say, yeah, well, I want to say 2 plus 2 are 4, you know. But if you get up every day and everybody I tell you, say, yo, 2 plus 2 and a 4 a 5. And I force you, and I use the law now, and I tell you, say a 5, and I tell you, pick them, say a 5, and all them. So after a while, 2 plus 2 becomes 5. I have to be careful about them something, you know. And I am particularly concerned. about what I perceive and already me and some people have problem with me about it and the man you know some people report me to YouTube for foolishness. But um this thing here there is a particular attack on women. So this trans thing you know it goes both ways. You have women who think you know, them identify as men, you know, okay. And you have men who identify as women. But I don't know why. I don't know why. But the larger part of this movement, the bigger part of this movement by far, is men identifying as women. And some of them, they're very aggressive. Now, they would say we're aggressive because we're being attacked. So I don't know what, I, I really don't know. I really don't know what is causing it. But the attacks I see on women is very concerning. There was just, to me, I, I, I could be wrong, but to me, The women who identify as men, they're not as vociferous and, you know, most of them just do them thing. And them in an argument with heterosexual men or, or, or people who identify as men. They're not big argument not out there. The big argument and the big war were out there. I demand them who identify as women. People, we are at a stage in humanity where these men who identify as women, of course, after women and them, and I say, you don't know one period, and I go on like, you know one period, and think period after we week, two, and whatever. And we, we. Of course, after women, and I say, we can't have baby, two, I want me to, we have a baby, two, and whatever. These are men, you know. Who said them might do a change thing in you know, them body and cause them want a period and them want a baby to and whatever and them woman the out there no more than we and they're attacking the woman. Right? Remember when them, them roll out and, and I say them need for ban Arita Franklin song um I'm a natural woman. I need mean, to ban that song because that song is causing people for dead. Like, seriously? Leave the woman's song alone, man. Live your life. We attack the woman's song. For when the woman did a sing the song, she didn't even did a thing about nothing where you attack about right you now. But you just feel like, say, you can't come attack people for everything right you now. And I say, well, basically, she never did a thing about it, but that statement alone and the popularity and her brand and whatever. You know, and, and their argument is there is no natural woman. No, I beg to disagree. And you not go change the reality they out there for me. And you not go tell my picnic them that either. And you not go tell me me can't call my daughter a daughter. And me can't call my son a son. You can't come to me with that. Well, because me no daughter and me no son. When my kids get older, if they want to identify what they want to identify, fine. I'm here about my picnic them. As long as they're not killing nobody, I do nothing. 
I live me down to them go so them identify something when I'm not comfortable with I still my picking them that. At the school that I come from. But right now, you can't tell me as a parent who out there hustle for my picking them and I, and I look out for the best of my picking them and I teach them how to survive in this world and this and thing and whatever. You're going to tell me about me wicked and evil because why why are you putting agenda on your child? Leave them alone and let them choose when them go. Go away, man. I mean, I know where this kind of this DN for women, them are take it to the woman, them out there, you know, man. You know, there is this thing where it, I don't need to tell you, like, some of these, you know, people like that, they're so into identifying as women that them, them over woman, <laughs> you know, they, you, you know what I'm talking about, they, you know, when you're not something, so you have to exaggerate with it. You try to prove to the world and to yourself that you are it, so you go too far with it, you know? So then make up heavy, everything just extra, extra, and everything just more, you know, and it's more, and it's this thing. And, and there's this thing where them feel like them are compete with women. You know, there's this thing where them need for proof, so them more woman than woman who say them are woman. Because if them can't do that now, they can succeed in feeling good about themselves. Say, oh, them real, you know. Uh, and also, like, you know, Mr. Theater says, you change the reality. And after a while, you start thinking that woman not there. Some have, have no problem with them being what they want to be. Whether you want to identify as this whole thing, but identify as this, identify as it's a big thing out, that's fine. Do what you want to do. But stop attacking people, man. Who want to be what they want to be. And stop accusing people that because we want to be who we want to be, oh, we're killing trans people. But I kill nobody. I want to defend the woman them. Yeah, when we see them at, you know, and I feel on a big war and thing and whatever, but if you realize this thing, and after a while, you, you, you got young girls that grew up and I said, them are not women, and they, you keep, this is crazy. I I don't know why, because the trans them, the trans female who identify as men, them don't feel, them not in this thing where, you know, Mark, you know, from long time, you know, you're a butch lesbian when them are, when them are you know. You're a butch lesbian, you know, when them, you're a butch lesbian, you look man, you man, you know, right? Me, when me there Jamaica, I used to love doing my thing, because you know me, I'm, I'm I'm unconventional in some ways. and whatever. So, I've had various relationships where, you know, we'd go to go-go clubs, you know, it's a thing, you know. And um, you'd have a, a well-known go-go club um, uh, um, in Kingston, in Pali Royal, Pali Royal, right? And um, <coughs> me and my woman at the time, and thing would go there, and, and we'd there, and whatever, and thing, and whatever, and in a, in a butch woman, in a, in a timber and big jeans, hang down, and whatever, come up, and right in front of me, you know, baby girl, come here, you know, I'm, a better body over here so than where him can gain. And I was right there, you know. So you do have that version there, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah, I'm mean, have to bend up my feet and realize, <laughs> ironically, what was going on here. This was a who of the bigger balls moment. So I was just like, you know, so I'm have to bend up my face. So I'm have to look for now. I'm mean, have to be just cool, man, and cut out the freak. It cut out the F, you know? Cut it out, all right? She said, Raga, where are you? I like a girl. Yeah, you have them new, you have them one day, you know, them bad so you know, and them defend it and war you, you know. And I said, I just said, B, go easy and she said, yo, how you call B? You see me look like me a woman. This is a woman that talk to me, you know. <coughs> right? Youngster, bad girl something, right? And in a fear of mine, she a bad man and she can't come up to me, you know. And then see my woman and I tell me, so I like your woman, I want me to tear her whatever, ray, ray, ray. So you do have them boots they like that, you know. You do have them boots that them steer, so you know, and the beginning of the lesbian community, beat woman, 
beat them woman and all them something there and have three, four women and them, yeah, them do that something there, you know. So you, you have that element there, that element that's always been there with butch woman, draft a man woman. But even so, it has, it, 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 it still, it, it still pales in comparison. Eh? Pales in comparison to Wagwan with the man them who identify as a man them. A lot of them are straight war boat, you know, and them just them just in a competition with the woman them and a war the woman them, you know, and them just determined for a be something that going out there, you know. And I'm saying underlying that there is this whole like, you know, thing to to change the norm. To change the norm, you know? It's not a good thing. Right? So I just want you all to be aware of what is occurring out there. And I propose to you that let people be who they want to be. If they want to identify with whatever and thing, fine. But don't let them impose that upon you and thing and whatever for say. You have to accept their distortion of reality. Whereas Andrew Tate said, if they must say two plus two are five, no, accept it and work with it and whatever, okay? Nah, man, them, they, them go on them something, them man. That's any time I go there and whatever, my woman, I go bathroom. I go bathroom and I stand up at the door. Yeah, <laughs> I stand up at the door. Yeah, and, and, and the woman who may tell about and whatever, we, I, I like a man, whatever, this and that. She goes, a woman, I pull out her watch. That's my back, my blood clot gun. Yeah, sorry. Lice a firearm, lice a firearm at the time, right? So when she come and she goes and take out for her something, take out my thing too. I said, be how you do? Go one side, man. You know? And then I got to talk about why raga, I saw you move. I saw you move, raga. I saw you move. So yeah, I'm an aggressive one on the man. Them not play a man. Some of them don't go through it too. I don't say like, you know, butch lesbian who consider themselves, man. Strap on artificial penis and, and do them thing and whatever. You know, a lot of them, they're very, um, you know, bold and thing. And, and they will challenge a man who have a woman, you know. Right. Was that? <laughs> well, Shams, a rag of one pinch, my palm, my bottom, my frightened. <laughs> Don't mind them, I play, man. Them, no play. And then, no, that's why I tell you, so I stop all friends, certainly because, you know, and, and next time again, you know, me, they, me have my woman, you know, and, you know, and she used to buy from some people like, half a tree, and then they did have one out there, you know. Them call her royal. <laughs> but that come from the Jamaican um, derogatory term for women who are lesbian, but you know, lesbian in the way that they come over as man and Jamaicans, well, not Jamaican, but yeah, in Jamaica, working class Jamaica, them call them man royal. I don't know where the, what the term came from, but just I tell her what it is. But, um, you know, women who move like men, them call them man royal. So them just shout and call her name royal. I mean, royal talk good, good, you know, because, you know, she sell out on the street and she da pa with some linky linky from Spanish town. And the person who made that date, she did come from Spanish town and she knew them and thing. I'm like, you know, you know me, I'm a reasonable person and thing. Like, Only for my woman come tell me one time, so Raya I'll move to her when I try to suck out her tongue and all that. And I'm like, well, you say what? Yeah? And thing I never know. And so, when I see Raya laugh at you, I say, Raya, oh, me, I talk good, 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 and whatever, and thing I move to my woman and there you want come there. What do you ragga and I say your woman look good man and her pum pum fat ragga. Yeah. And if I go off of that, you know, no feel no way still in you know. I said, no, you know, so I'm not too light that I disrespect your depan still, you know. So I don't want you move like them way that with my woman again here. And she said, Why ragga, you can't too stop that still in you know, anything or anything. And she see you, you know. And she see you, you know. I remember one of the time she had, when me and I talk, you know. Me, me never said nothing to her about certain thing, you know. Me never said nothing. And she said to me, Raga, I know say I'm such and such link and whatever and really, I know them link the heavy, but I just want you know say me I'm so and so and so. Me don't even bring up that to her, you know. But she know 
certain things where Ray, when I go in or whatever, with certain link where, you know, boom, bang, bang, bing. And she she met me no say. Me no say you have that link there. Them link there. But my wife no say me have my link too. So she the point I'm making, she was prepared to escalate the thing like my wife, your woman and her pony fat and me see her pony fat and whatever call. When I time see her did it. Sorry, me call her name, my woman name at the time. She sit on, you know. And and when she sit on you know, and she, and, and she turned good, you know? And she must see it and say, eh, I'm in a business with Raga or whatever. And at them time, that she a friend, but she a friend with a kind of like, you know, boom, bam, 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 and I move to move man quietly and whatever, you know? You see? <laughs> yeah, them look at something they are going out the road, them man. <clears throat> ja, no. Anyway. You know, so sometimes we have class, no? Sometimes we go to school, no? And the teacher raga jump in and do look or something, right? So that was that. Okay. One last thing before we open the phone line. I'm going to play a video, and this is just for the man, them, right? And I'm going to play the video first, right? And... Well, and what's the worst thing? Wait, okay, all right, let me play the video first and just on the pre work. Sometimes some man have a difficulty if you understand certain things, you know, and I get it twisted certain way. So, I want to pre that video. What's the worst thing a man can do during sex? The worst? I don't know, I've never had sex. Either have I. You guys aren't virgins. Yeah, we are. Ain't no way. Yeah. Well, get, well, why haven't you done it yet? We're very religious. We're saving ourselves. For marriage? Yep. Yes. Okay. Now be honest with me. When you come out to the clubs in Miami especially, and you dress how you dress, do you think... I dress how I dress? Yes. What does that mean? I'm saying exactly how you are right now. Which means implying what? When you have your belly out, you're wearing tight clothing, out, and you're showing clothing. cleavage. Yeah. With cleavage, okay. Do you not have your cleavage out? These are attached to my body. So of course. That she has that I have, exactly. Of course, but you can help what you wear, though. Exactly, so finish your question. So my question is, do you think that when a man looks at you, he's thinking, this is somebody who I want to make my wife one day? Or is this just a girl who I could probably have fun with? I never Here's put my an answer and think about what men. I have never gone to the club to meet a man. I go to dance with my friends. I don't want to find my husband as at the club, just when as much I, as a man doesn't want to find his wife at the club. So it's not to seek va validation at all from a man. When I get dressed, I never think about what a man wants. I think about how I feel. Here she said, when I, she said, when she get dressed, she never thinks about what a man wants. She think about how she wants to feel. This is an important thing, you know, because <clears throat> the extreme of it is that it has led to, um, you know, all kind of sexual abuse, you know, you know, from men and women. Men. Men. There are times when women want to dress sexy and to feel sexy for themselves. There are times when women want to dress sexy and feel sexy and feel sexual for themselves. Women just want to feel good. They want to feel sexy and enjoy that sexiness and thing and whatever. And them no want a man. Them not look no man. And it no means that them no like man. And them not tease nobody. Right, when I blame them both, 
what, what, so we are dressed like that for and what it's all right she dress what she want to dress and dress how she want to feel or how she feel you know and oh that dressing make her feel and whatever and for her that is the end that is the objective there's nothing else beyond that and it's about it's she being about she it's she being about herself and how she want to feel and walla in her sexiness and walk out and whatever. And yeah, at times she may see the impact and see someone and look and whatever and be like, yeah, whatever. But, you know, it's not about you, the man. So you see the difficulty when him have a while ago and him talk to them and whatever. He's just so in academia and say he's sexist, you know. And it was very, um, they were so, you know, they were so intelligent and articulate in, in, uh, in expressing themselves, you know, which I, 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 I'm impressed because usually when you are women who are religious that way, I don't, I'm not going to assume they're, they're, you know, they have a Muslim background or any, I, I don't know, I, I, or Jewish, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what it is. But usually when women have those religious type of thing, they're generally not as balanced in being articulate about like what would be considered like a feminist type of thing. You know, they they're just really locked into the religious doctrine and the dogma. But um but they were, you know, I, they were very articulate and they were catch him right away when he must and then and they're like, hold on, hold on, wait a second. When I'm putting on my clothes, I'm not thinking about men. Like, what's wrong with you? It's like she fought at that. And him couldn't get it, you know, him keep on in other zone or whatever. And they were like, and you know, right at the end, the last line, it just kind of, you know, you know, synopsize it perfectly. It's saying, listen, I'm going, we're just out here to have a good time. You know, sometimes woman, sometimes woman want go club and wind up themselves and dance and wind up. Them no want to dance with a man. Leave the woman them alone. They no want to dance with a man. Nothing wrong if you approach, but if you see that you don't want to dance with a let it go, man. Right? You know, we have to get beyond that now where, you know, we feel like, you know, as men, you know, we are look for a woman and enjoy our sexiness and enjoy our sexuality in her attire, in her conduct, in her dance, in her movement and thing and whatever. Just chill and observe and appreciate it and admire it and thing and whatever, you know? And just lower for being our peace. And nothing wrong if as a man you go so boom and, you know, you step to her, you know? And if you have approach, as Spraga Ben said, about to come with a cockroach approach, you know? Well, nothing wrong if you. If you have, if you have like a move or whatever and do, man, just kind of let you know that, no, nope, not interesting or whatever they say. That. You do not have a right to attack her in any way. If you say she's doing something wrong by dressing like that and you show your stomach and what, then if you have stomach, if you want to show her stomach, she show her stomach. There's nothing to do with you. Leave her alone. She's not doing anything wrong. You know, so when him did it, I said, but you're in Miami and you come out to the club and whatever. And this and she said, listen, I don't come out to the club for no look no man. I don't want a man from club. Just like how oh, you don't want a woman from club. We don't want a man from club and whatever. We just come out and say, have a good time. Like, can't we not have a good time without Una for day, like, you know, uh, analyze with too much and whatever and in relation to Una. This is not about Una. Over here, I live with life. You know, this is just like, you know, girl sorority here. Girls go out for have fun. We not look nobody. And we want to dress sexy. And we want to dance sexy. And do a thing. But it's about us. It's not about you. Chill. Bill. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Sometimes guys don't get that, you know. And think it's, you know, that look a patriarchal thing. Think that some of them have to in at the mix in some way. Nah. Sometimes it's not about you. It has nothing to do with you. Okay? All right. See the number them there, you know? 
And again, I want for people who see me in this green or whatever, I had a little green turtleneck and I come and then when I sat, you know, I was, I was late too. So when I sit on, I was like, oh, the green background and the green top, like, you know, there's some blending going on here. But I couldn't bother to change it and things. So I work with it and things. So we know, say, I have some the labor right them I got happy because I green on a set. I on a set green, right? And the comrade, them might say, oh, Raga, oh, you're green out. So I oh, go on. And then the people are more neutral. I go say, yo, green of prosperity, green of this, green of that and thing. But that's that's what was going on here with the green, all right? So if it's um, disconcerting in any way to anybody with all this green going on right here, um, there's nothing behind it. It was purely incidental. And um, such is the case, all right? Oh, watch them put up the number them and do ever open the phone line them. That's not good. All right, let me open them right now. All right, I do remember the 929 number. That number is um is for WhatsApp, okay? That's if you want to talk on air through the WhatsApp, then you call the 929 number. And the 585 number is if you're in the United States or Canada. And um, you want to go so boom, badang, bang, bing. I make a link on here, right? So again, if you're in the United States or Canada, the number is 585-596-0606-585-596-0606-585-596-0606. And if you're calling on the WhatsApp, Outside of the United States or Canada, the number is 929 402 929 Okay. I know, Um, let me see if I can. Da, da, da. Yeah, four nine one. Greetings. Me just cause it tell us a yes if I want a green M and M. So me feel if I want a the green M and M. Yeah, when you bite, when you bite into it, yes if I want them right now. When when you bite into it. Yes. So you you call to tell me that I, I resemble a type of food, a candy where you bite into, right? And you even articulating that when you bite into it. That is what you're saying, right? Yes, I am. Are you okay? <laughs> come bite me. <laughs> you want me to bite you? No, don't ever come bite you. I'm bite you. You might like it and things. So be careful. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but... And that is not that is not saying anything about talents on my part, but just talking about your propensity, <laughs> your propensity, your propensity for bestiality, right? That is what I'm talking about because, of course, I don't know anything about those things. No, very highly, and you're aware of your capabilities. What? What? You, you leave me alone. What? Remember, say you go more school at all, we say you know what me just said. Okay. <laughs> what you said, remember, I said, me go to school at all, I want to solve, me know exactly what you just said. No, I don't know what you just said. I don't have the slightest clue what you just said. I'm lost. Lost.com. I'm not going over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. B -b -b I'm in green. Oh, fool come in, one. Oh, m and m come in, two. And where you biting at? You, you, you look like an m and m when you're just biting at whatever. Yeah, with yes, a little emphasis yes, on it, yes. too, and thing. Yes. Yeah, come bite me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, 
earlier somebody posted that woman post and said, Boy, Raka, you look like one and them look uh, mint. Like one look mint when you eat <laughs> or something. No, I'm <laughs> serious. <laughs> somebody posted that earlier. I'm with, you know mint. And you know what I say? You suck mint, right? Is that Raka, you look... What, what should it post? Something about you look like when I'm looking mint. They like when you eat and you like mint and whatever. Like, won't they, won't they get them imagery there from? Oh, that come. It's a turtle neck. It's a turtle neck. Listen, when you when I first went on YouTube, I said, St. Patrick's Day reach already? See, it's St. Patty Day. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Too. Yeah, yeah the luck of the Irish. I don't listen to the ball. Let me say what teams give up Eminem. <laughs> And I know yeah, what you are referring to. Are you referring to the cartoon characters or the actual M&M? No, the candy. Which I, cartoon character? The candy. No, you but what I'm it? saying, you know, you have the um the m M&M cartoon candy characters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Them and, them in, they have them in the store on Times Square. Yeah, and them come out with ball head because they have here. So. But you are some <laughs> actually favor the candy itself. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that yes, pretty punchy, right? The person said my favorite after dinner mint. You, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Hi. they don't even make any sense. Like it's like who gets so precise and exact? Like you know, you rather you look like an after dinner mint, not even ice mint, you know, no regular mint. You know the after dinner mint? That's the one you actually look like. That particular one, I look like after dinner mint. You know. Hey, hey. One thing you take some beating. Who me? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't. For years, beat you know. What? For years, we beat you. But no you man, we get beaten up. left, right, and say they don't know our rule, man. A thick skin and broad back, I do it, man. So mm-hmm. you know, say you know, you have to take beat. Like one time. Eh? I said, them not ramp rough like one time, but that was no. Not yeah, them not ramp rough like one time or whatever, but um. But it had for something like, remember, I mean, you big nose, big head ragga, you know, so it had for, um, if, you, if anybody got said nothing, me enjoy it, beat me, me enjoy it, as long as it's fun and just, if it, you know, say, if it gone past certain level, no, I'm just shut down, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't know, mm-hmm. yeah, whatever, but um, you get beaten, you know, you, you get, I know, I know. yeah, because uh, you used to get beaten <laughs> regularly early out, you know, and then them just low, you know, because you're blending. <laughs> Them is still strong. Eh? Speak them is still strong. Say what? Then as I speak, I'm still standing strong. And you still are stand up strong to hunting and whatever, but you took it in stride, uh, man. Ah, uh, ah, who, uh, who used to give me the most beaten? I wonder where in there. Who used to give you the most beaten? Dictator. Oh, well, you know, um, dictator. They wish for him um, choose mm. for there and that's cool. It end up on my friend, you know, but. And he used to give me the most beaten. Then the little chihuahua in dog bite. Did you say little chihuahua? You call dog yes. bite a little chihuahua? Yes. His I bark would call him that. More more call him like one big workless dog. We're free of everything, you know. <laughs> Doberman. No. <laughs> no, no eh, eh, eh. I call him like, you know them big, like, you know them big. When I call him dog there, well, well, like a golden retriever, but the golden retriever, them. The golden well, retriever. Retrievers are nice dogs. No, yeah, them actually nice and, and them cute, you know, so. That's not that, nice dog in comparison. <laughs> that not apply to him. Um, not try if you think about one older, big. Not try, yes. and you can't say, you can't say, um, um, you can't use, um, bulldog. No, because them too little. Yeah, you have to have one big rough dog, man. You know, a big hello, rough hello. dog. Hello. The eh? one, yeah. Eh? Separate dog. An Anatolian shepherd dog. What well, Anatolian okay. shepherd dog? Yes. No, but them dog, they're still good. Them dog, they're hot dog. No, this dog is not hot. What's the hot about this dog? This dog ugly? Ooh, no, I mean, yeah, I said nothing about ugly, ugly, you know. I'm not saying anything about ugly. I never went there. Okay, okay. I mean, I use that something there. It match him. Yeah. It match him. They twin. You know the talk? Twin, where have you been? That's him and the dog, them. The, the ugly dog, let me just show you. No, me, no, me can't. No, but oh, you, oh, you just act like you beat my friend, so. Eh? 
Eh? He beat me for all the while. Where the cookie are going? Where cookie are going? Where cookie post? And today a cookie birthday. You know, sing cookie happy birthday before happy she birthday goes. Happy birthday to she, you. Mm. I don't have a singing voice. Yeah, that's okay. I, I don't either. Sing happy birthday for cookie. Go on. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cookie. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? 87. How much great year for your front. How old are you now? You know, when you started, you were channeling Marilyn Monroe, you know, singing happy birthday for President Kennedy. You don't you don't know that backstory, probably too young. But um, I know I watch every every listen, every historical something I watch about documentary movie, all those things. Are you one of those At, who watch um yes. any name turn them a TMC turn a movie classic? You watch them something, eh? Sometimes, yes. You know about and Betty every, Davis and Clark Gable and Kira Grant and them act, act, mm -mm 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 -mm. Huh? My old, you know? Oh God, my old. No, you don't. You don't know them actors. Eh? You know, you you don't know those actresses and actors. You know, right? Correct. I just told you I do. I know some of them. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. You um, you have all these romantic women who love to watch them movies. They you know, but um, so Marilyn Monroe is famously known for singing. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. You know, with that breathy voice and you know, you know, it's a good it did turn good and set right and thing and whatever, you know. But then mm -hmm. oh you reach now I ask how much gray year the pan cookie front. Oh you reach this. Oh I found it. Hold on, sidebar. I found it I found the dog that gave a dog by Kane Corso. That's what it was. What did I ask me? Kane Corso. Kane Corso. C A N E space. C O R S O. There's a dog called Kane Corso. Yes, I want you to see. You gotta know it. I did dog the way they use the security. No, hold well, on. May I look with a picture there right now? For real, uh, Kane Corso. Type it in. Images. Sorry. Google it's images. Okay, Google images. Um, no, that's not what I want. I want Google images. Um, um. Why you don't just type it in regular Google and it did everything come from the top? Listen to me. I'm. I'm uh, man, Go on, dear right. thing, dear yeah, thing. Kane Corso, dog. Okay, I'm not. Oh, oh. Did not him that. Oh. Um. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna show people all, all the all the picture. Look. <laughs> Yo, in going cuss out your cloth, I think. Watch out know, over. People, I'm going to show you the picture of the, of the dog. Way. Yo, you're so, what, oh, hold on. What happened? You see, you see, I'm going to Nah, man, I'm going to go press sitting and, you know, where is it? Okay, here we go. All right, cool. Bring this back over here, so. All right. Um, okay. All right. All right. So people see dog, you know, where 23, a beat dog by it, but. No, I just say you're going with the G. Huh? I just say you're going with the boss. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, this song with the thing team, right? Uh, Okay. I guess you're really gone with the general. I I him that if anybody's gonna him, they're lying. Dog boy, you know, she she got a research, a research and gone in the and going into the archives for you know she get deep dog bite. You understand? Well, yeah, yeah, somebody know about dog bite sounds cute, not ugly. Sound are deceiving, my dear. Now what I'm for find out that oh him get the name dog bite. Right, right. Bite. Right, right. That you know for know about <laughs> oh him get that the name there, okay. <laughs> bite a man. Okay, that you know for know find out. Oh him get the name dog no. bite, yeah. yeah. And look but, how that dog mouth said. What you say what? You read, I said, look how that dog mouth is set. Yo, you, you really are going yeah. hard for the G today, you know. <laughs> you really are going hard for him today, you know. It's a good yeah, thing he can't take it. 
Delmarine posts and said 23, love my friend. You know, Delmarine said 23, said love, Delmarine said 23, love my friend. What was that one up dog by? No, yes, your life mm -hmm. funny though. Me allow him. Yes, your life that, funny. When you yeah. beat Delmarine and me say stop. Yeah. Oh. But when Del... Not him see him one? I who say what? When he no, did a beat Delmarine, him say you for stop? I did Richie, I did Richie, I did Richie. Forget it. I did I Richie. Right. Yeah, I did Richie. But when Dark Bike did a hug her up at my party and whatever, this and that, she going like nearly, she never weak to the thing. Listen, nearly squeeze the life out of her because it's a big. No, but no, 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 no. I went liquid in her alarm. I think she nearly dead. <laughs> when... <laughs> When liquid a hug or whatever, me say liquid, me a squeeze her and a hug her and whatever and thing. And me I say then, me, I'm a look over her and I'm a see like said, liquid out, me like squeeze out the life out of her. Me I say then, I went liquid a go on, so and whatever. And you know she yeah. never look a tight short dress to her or whatever. Oh, oh my God. Yo, when woman in a tight short dress, you, you feel no for hug them, man. For protect them, you understand me I say? Sure, huh? And liquid never sure, know for do that something there. Liquid, why you there? <laughs> yeah. When woman in a tight short dress, you, you hug them off with gentle and all them things and whatever. You can't squeeze them up and, you know, any little movement, you know, the dress are going to come up on all these things and whatever. You see? You know, so as I get older, I avoid them. You avoid who? Like the, the short tight dress them. Which you used to wear, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you see this, no, because of the size of my leg, them, it's yeah. right up. It's like a waste of my time now. No, no, so but just, all right. You know that write up something that it has always confused me about. You know? That it doesn't. It's not. I'm not gonna have a comfortable night. So, I just low it. Listen like, to me. Women are way more particular about their dress than men, and the women are so detail oriented when it comes to dressing, right? And women take long to make sure. Wanna get the right dress, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And for the life of me, after all that due diligence and all that deliberation and all that try and ten different dress and this and that and put on and the long thing and and then on the side on one. The one where on the side pan, on spend the whole night a dry it down uncomfortably. Make, right, make it make sense. Know. Make it make Hold sense. On. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. A dress can fit you perfect, 100%. A dress can fit you. Your movement in the dress doesn't change the fact that it still fits you, but the movement causes it to move around in a way that it may show something you don't want to see, you don't want to see. It may, it may ride like those kind of things so i think we try on the clothes it fit us but we may not me not go all right me not go no so me go tonight try our one dress and walk around the house tonight because you know what we are the clothes until we're ready for go out so once i try on the dress i'm gonna say fit i'm good but there's a simple question here there's a simple question here what what are you telling me that women do not have the capability to put on a dress, to spend a whole heap of time put on a dress and whatever, and know if the dress are going to ride up on them? I I developed that capability. Like, I could know based on a certain material, this is if it, but this is going to ride up. All right. Up. Is it reasonable to assume that women are so careful and particular about their attire that they can know if a dress going to ride up on them? Yeah. All right then. Yes. Which go back to me. Well, on, somebody Next post week. something in the um. Oh, them that over the Twitch. Pelado, Mojolico, Seguro, sos Africanos, te quiero mucho. Somebody over Twitch. I uh, love you very much. I hope they want you very much. Pelado, Mojolico, Seguro, sos Africa. Well, I know you Africans. I love you a lot. Yes. Yeah, me and I run in, you know, kind of picture and Lovely, day, so, and we don't know it, so. And especially the talk we just have earlier. No, we have Oh, somebody post and say, I like your stream. I, I, oh, okay. But I, 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 
when them something that you don't know always on you. Uh, next thing too, Thank right? you. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Sí, muchas gracias. Yeah, mu muchísimas gracias. Eso. Yes, yes. Let's write this up. Let me write this up. Now I'm going to refer to that. I think I would don't know what this one. But anyway, yes, yeah, so Some you, women, so when right? I say, do women have the capability, right, for put on a dress and know so the dress of a rider. You can't tell me some woman don't know that. I just said yes, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. But so them do it I and know, say it a ride up. Okay. It have a ride up. They know it. You know it have a ride up. Doing, what am I doing? Another thing, even though Mr. Look, I already told you in the beginning, Mr. Stop Weirdness. But for those who still, and when I used to, I used to say to myself, what am I going to be doing when I wear this dress? Am I going to dinner? Yes? Okay. Me can I wear it. Am I going to a party? Well, then I'll go wear it because I'm going to be standing up moving around. Them something there. So that's another thing that I think a, a lot of women probably say too to themselves. Say, all right, let us sit on more Saturday night. So I'm not going to worry about if it's going to ride up. No, no, no. But we stop wearing Plus, when we wear the, 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 the dress, them we're passing it, it should me shape more anyway. So prefer that. And oh. it's not one then because people want to ride up. In Naga, after a while, in Naga, sure. I love when women wear those long dress will hug them figure and look so sexy night. Right. And we just right. the same exactly. one, you know, look fine you know, in them long dress there and thing. Particularly mm -hmm. the one, I don't know how to describe the material, but if the if the material is kind you know them kind of flowy material where it kind of it, um, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. kind of the material kind of loose and it has mm -hmm. a kind of thin velvety type of thing to it like mm -hmm. and so when the woman walk there's a kind of almost a, a kind of a, a slightly hip hypnotic type of sway to the dress yeah yeah but hypnotic no 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 I'm the, I, I, I bet you say I, all I man them know what me I talk about I got it when you said it, but it was just your use of your the the, the um the word that you use. No, I'm telling you, it's sexy, and and the dress will go right down to our ankle and and whatever, and and it's just sexy. I'm telling yeah. you, if, if worse if she have, I don't mean to be weight named the year, but worse if she have a, a body for carry it off, you know, and thing, you know, it, it, sometimes it no work, it, you know, like. If she told Marga or something or whatever, but uh, yeah, if she told Marga. No, the, the point I'm making, you have to know what fits you, you know. And you have to know okay. what, what what go with your body, you know. Do you know? Do you know? Okay, let me come. People say Marga to explain somebody that's skinny. Do you know? Do you know in Brazil the Portuguese term for somebody a, a woman that's skinny is magrela? Is what? Magrela. Magrela. Yes. So Jamaican said Marga. With uh Brazilians say Magrela. Oh, they're prob probably related in some way, you never know. Yes. That's how that's how we bring it up just now. That's interesting because given that it's a romantic language too and in Spanish I think it's flaca. Yes, it's flaca. yes, it is flaca. Flaca. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody called Kitty B just posted if you if you are wearing a dress that ride up, ride up, you know right away and you change if you don't want that attention. Thank you, Kitty B. That is the point I'm making. It's not the attention. Yes, she's right. But I wouldn't use the word attention. No, no, it don't have to be attention. But but here's my other point about this. She's right. That she's no, no, right. here's my other point about this. You ever notice uh, you ever in a dance and see the video man a move to all a woman who a dance and when she a dance there is this interesting tease where she do where she a dance you know but we are see the something of them but she keep on a drag down look a bit but then she a dance and we still a see the something of them and she keep on a drag down look a bit so in a position where like but you're not really covered it up we are see it but so there's a thing there where I'm showing it to you, but me not show it. Me not want you believe, say, me out here 
for show it to you. So I'm going to keep drawing down the dress and whatever as if I don't want to show it to you. But I don't say it as sure. That makes sense what I just said? That is such a dancehall thing. It's, 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 yeah, it's a very dancehall so thing. It's so, that's such a... Like, when the video man come past, um, shine the camera by you. No, no, not only shine the video man. We all have the camera low in and shine it up. Like, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and then get like... It's like they're not, they're not looking directly in the camera, but them know. Them know. And then with the, their jaw down, and here's the key point. Them yep. don't move. Them stay right there. And them know, so right the camera, they're on them, and them stay right. But them keep on a jaw down, and them know the video man is shining up a light mm -hmm. up on that. And them, and them keep on a jaw down. So I always find that interesting. And Sam says, so why is, she, why is she drawing down the thing? And she knows, so the video man did it. She knows the video man I look on, <laughs> and whatever. But she <laughs> keep on a jaw. But what it is, you know, it's just communicate. It's sending a message that, listen, I am not a tawdry careless female i have some decency about me and that is communicated through drawing down the thing which she don't really care you know she just want to dance but you know draw down like as if say, it matter to her like she really want to black with from C when she don't want to say but we still see everything so you know they are draw down draw down why national traffic needs to go in a dance eh? national geographic Need to go in our dance and do our study, like when they, when they go into the safari. Yeah. Um, um, that 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 wasn't really a good analogy to come with, but no, the reason I said, all right, have you seen those videos? It's they're mostly on TikTok, but they come back. No, no, I know what you mean. Guys... National Geographic safari it's associated with them, but what I'm saying, given what you're talking about, dance hall and the people. It will, you know, and then you say, no, nah, let me go study them Jamaican dance oh, and like how oh, them study right, the animal them for safari. Yes. <laughs> okay, no, I wasn't comparing our people to I animals. know, I'm just saying, it, it just, you left that thing that opened up to that common it stereotype. It sounded open to interpretation. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they, National way, Geographic need to go study the dance hall people. They're like, oh, them study the animal them on safari. Who uh, uh, <laughs> are us before on the course? I was referring to or relating it to right now on Instagram. And uh, for the past few months, they taken videos and they're using the, the, I think he's Australian, the voiceover and relating it to events that are happening in Jamaica. Have you seen them, Raga? No. I think you even posted on the like, you must say, um, and today we have, like, I, I have to find one of the videos, I'm going to send it to you. And it's like the guy is talking in the background, and it's something like, the people in my way are taxi at Jamaica, and like, my talk, the way on my talk, he's talking. Oh, oh, I know who you're talking, Seabird, man. He's Jamaican. Yeah. Yes, okay, all right. It's Seabird. No, he's he's good, man. Him do the one for minibus, and him do the, um, the one for... Right. Uh, 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 but I, 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 it's a language. The language is just so entertaining, and um, he's hilarious, man. I love his videos, man. All right. So, 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 so I reckon me at So people don't kill me, please. Not beg no. Beat her, butter, beat her, butter nastiness. You're out of I can't believe you do that. Oh, God, them need to hear about you. She named 23. When they make video about her and thing, when they make video about 23, come by Raga Shua say, she needs to study, them need to study dance all people like what them study the animal and pan safari. Yeah, beat her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boo boo. Anyway, I was just calling to comment on your green. Thank you. Y'all leave it right now. Me? Yeah. I am I am of no political affiliation. Well, not? you never grew up in Jamaica. Right. I am of oh. no, even up here, to be honest, why I'm not all this year go look? Because this year in the US election look how we are. Yeah. And I can't have an idea of what's going on or what is gonna happen. But it come like it's like, yes, we choose the lesser of the two evil, yeah, man. Yo, this is going to be a crazy year, I'm telling you. This is going to be crazy. Like, let me just watch that man say, this can't be real. Like, this is, like, every day we are living in a, uh, this has to be a movie. No, 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 like, hold on. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Donald Trump has pushed the envelope with um, 
the United, United States system of governance where right now, based on the laws that exist, they, 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 he, Donald, a constitutional crisis is, 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 a, is a term used um, to um, define when, you know, the U.S. Constitution, the United States prides itself as a country of laws. Some of it is BS, but some of it is true. And then the, the top law, the law of all laws, is the U.S. Constitution. So all laws are subsumed under the U.S. Constitution. So when there's a constitutional crisis, is that this thing that is the linchpin, well, probably don't want to use that word, that is the centerpiece of what American life is about, the Constitution and all the laws therein are subsumed under, whenever you reach a point where the Constitution clearly was not prepared to deal with this situation. So what do we do here? We don't know what we're supposed to do, right? So that is a constitutional crisis, right? So the idea is that pretty much everything that happens in whatever, there is some provision in the Constitution that even if it doesn't explicitly say, it can be interpreted to deal with it. But Donald Trump has put the United States in multiple situations where they, they just never thought of this or they never anticipated this going to happen. And one of the realities that is possible right now is that Donald Trump can be... It, it's not going to happen, but he could be in jail and still be elected president of the United States and it would be, and it would be legal. And 100% normal. Because yeah, and it would be legal. Is, it would be legal. And yeah, it would be quite fine. And like nothing, nothing in the U.S. right now, in my opinion, like every day when we come up to people say nothing is impossible. You know, sometimes when I say, oh, that's strange. I feel like nothing's strange again. No, no, exactly. Exactly. That is what I was saying earlier, that it was ironic that I was supporting Andrew Tate's argument there. And I'm saying one of the ironies that one of the biggest people that we rate because he's a Trumper. Trump is responsible <laughs> for like muddying up the waters and confusing things and whatever where it's just like anything goes right now, which is deliberate, you know? And um, and right now, he can, you know in the United States, if you have a felony, you're excluded from so many things, right? <laughs> if you're convicted of a felony, you're excluded from so many things, right? And the idea is that you're held accountable. There are certain standards in the law that if you transgress those standards and so forth, you're not entitled to certain benefits that um, law-abiding citizens are entitled to, right? But Donald Trump right now can be um, convicted of some very serious felonies and still be president. But there's nothing... You know, them, them have got to stretch the law now to go figure and come up with something. And once you start do that, he might go telling people them for say, yes, what am I do a wicked them wicked because nothing wrong with this. I'm supposed to can't be president or whatever. And that there's a potent. In other words, anything at my right I know where him not get what he want, it's going to result in some sort of conflict and potentially physical. Because if him get what he want, nobody not gonna attack him, you know. <laughs> people are gonna be angry and upset. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm yeah. People are going to be angry and upset. But if, you know, but who are going to be angry and upset, they're not the side where are going to attack and, 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 and say kill. But fiend people, him, if him not get what him want, they, w they would um, attack and go on with some foolishness and things like that. And, feel so. and you don't know who them always want to kill first, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, when they piss off, they're just like, I just need to okay. go in a Walmart or a supermarket and go shoot up. Be a black people. <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah. So, me, I watch it, you know. I'm be a spawn. We ain't going, whatever, you know. You know, me, I I'm my telling picnic, you, them, I was, say, stay in. We're not going over here. Stay where you're there. Listen, I was literally watching the news today when they said, my for Pia, 350 million. He, he 355. From, 355, sorry. Yeah. He is banned from doing business in New York for the next three years and his sons are banned for for uh, yeah I mentioned it at the start of the show right yeah mm -hmm. oh no I'm sorry I didn't hear this thought but okay. may I watch it I may I say something so say, it's really about to be our president 
<laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Like, I cannot believe what me I watch by the news. It's like, crazy. I know him. It, like, it's so crazy to me. But then he admits to himself, we're going to look back at this years from now and say we've seen crazier things. That is where the world is heading. Like, not, not crazy again. Like, these things seem so tame. You see, people my age can tell you. There was a time in the United States where you'd be the front runner, you know, for like a candidate for the U.S. This happened. Or you'd be like a top, top, top person at the cabinet or whatever and thing like that. There was a time in the United You had like somebody. Have, there was this one. We forgot to him name and we did have one guest model. All them do them see her on the boat with him. Nothing, you know. Them just see her up on the boat with him. A married man still, you know. And in political I career, I done, you know. Who was that? I, rem I, I remember this story. Yeah. I remember as well. No, that, 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 yeah, that, that was all the thing was the one time. There was a time, there was another person to, like, you know, you know, the big position, him, the secretary of this. And I said, mm -hmm, there was mm -hmm. one where them find, he had, a, he had a helper, and the helper was undocumented. Let him go right away, career done. There was a time when America did a run, so yeah. And look at you now. And look at you now, a man can say, grab them by the pony. <laughs> to <our> president. <laughs> man say, yeah, when I said, I can't resist, I, man, just grab them by the pony. And this man became president. And he's just like, yo, it's thing different. It's thing different, I, you know. All I'm going to tell anybody that's listening to this right now, I don't know, paperwork. You know what I'm talking about? It's not 100. Are you, you're not pursuing it? Try to do that as soon as possible. Because any clock can't strike. You so know, you went to the one of them big crowd okay. and them say, when him come okay. back into the office, the United States is going to have the biggest deportation ever. ever. <laughs> and, the, and the crowd go, Ray! I'm just like, I'm yeah. telling you, do what you got to do. Yeah. The situation, it sounds silly, but it's real. Nothing impossible. So when you make that talk there, don't think that a rum talk. <laughs> that can really happen. So yeah. please start out yourself. He has proved me wrong so many times. I write him off and thing, and then <laughs> I'm admitting it. So many times me right after Monday that me at a point now when like just like you now better put not the part we live in a time now where anything not possible. Not anything possible. Because there have been several times in the past and me I said that will never happen in America or whatever. Mm -hmm. When me and people mm -hmm. openly write and now and I say, Yo, you see how many I'm supporters I say, I'm not wrong if he's a dictator, we need a dictator right now. <laughs> Right? When we reach a point of me, all the people, people, all these people, I said, nah, man, Russia cool, man. We're good with Russia, man. When Trump said Russia, we like said Russia that, Even cool. that, even that, like, you could have never... Never said that in the past. Never anything to do, in right? Life. Like, how is this possible for you, this to be coming from the people that are supposed to be ruling our country? Like, I, listen... If you get me started on it, then I'm gonna do it. So we just gotta tell enough. All right. Let me and fix up your fix up your paperwork, your status, whatever. Get that done this year because no, any I will get right? that done this year. Well, until I said the fees that my raise at the first of April. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. You so big all increase. that so try find no money. Use if if you ever borrow somebody tax money this season, <laughs> use it wisely. No, it's a serious thing. If you can regularize yourself and, you know, if you if there's a way for you to um and I'm without and I'm unabashedly saying, um again I'm an immigration lawyer. Um well of course most people you're limited because, you know, the most logical way to get that now is through marriage, you know, if you're mm -hmm. you know, so that is the pretty there are other ways obviously, but um Mm -hmm. You know, they're very difficult, you know. You know, if you're sponsored by a company, if you... You can actually buy a visa, you know. <laughs> they, they have this uh, provision, you know, the E5 visa where you can, you know, if you have more than a million dollars, you can say, yeah, invest in something and then give a green card. So I heard, so I heard about this on a podcast. 
he the, the man was mentioning about paying for a visa, getting it through religious means. I forgot the no, other, that, that, the other no, I'm not talking about visa. I'm talking about a green card. <laughs> green card. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. talking through like yeah. religious means. I said visa. I should have said green card. Yeah. And he was saying you can pay for it. You know, you but you pay for it is relative because you really basically no, they, yeah. they, 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 they have um, provisions to um, attract high net worth, high net worth people you know high net worth yeah, individuals yeah, mm -hmm. high net worth individuals I'm just saying there are other ways to get it but in terms of you know our people lay people you know they, it, it, it's marriage you know Valentine's Day just passed just ask the man for the right thing <laughs> Yeah, you know, when I asked you know, ask, you know, Louis, just say your so you can do him fix up my thing, you know. Right, right. right. And um Fuck well the, the floating uh, a provision out there you now, you know, to say to have like an explicit uh, explicit initiative to say if you are undocumented and you join the military, we'll give you a green card. Mm-hmm. I know people who've done that. Well, I don't. Yeah, I mean, what I'm there, are people who have done it and we've been doing it, but there wasn't an explicit program for it. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't publicized. No, there wasn't an explicit program for it. it now, and publicized. I'm asking, is now there is? Huh? And I said, and now there is? No, no. Senator Durbin, who is one of the most um, balanced and respected um, um, members of um, Congress, the U.S. Senate, he has floated it, and um, he has credibility. If there's one person who could possibly get, um, because, you know, in the Senate, you need 60 votes. They're not to, so, uh, to prevail mm -hmm. against what they call the filibuster. Mm -hmm. But if there's one person who can get that extra 10 Republican vote to support the initiative, it would be him. But it's not there yet. And then the House would have to approve it too. And then that can be kind of tricky, you know? You know, so... Um, but they, they, they're putting it out there. You know, what, what, what worries me about it, though, is um well first of all the Republican Democrats are going yeah, tricky or tricky because they have this data that said that most people who come in along those lines they're more likely to vote Democrat. But anyway, uh but what worries me about it though is that he's plugged into um US intelligence and right now the United States military is Undermanned, you know, meaning them not have enough people in you know, the military. So mm -hmm. they're pressuring the recruiters to get more people. And the recruiters said that they're having difficulty getting people to join the military now. So I don't know if it's just that, that, okay, if we're having difficulty getting people in the military, let's use these people. Or there have been some projections also that, um, the United States is likely to end, get in military conflict with either Iran or China. China over Taiwan. And the way things are unfolding out in the Middle East right now, the argument is that, and I'm not getting into this. I don't want nobody to call and talk to me about it. Okay, <laughs> But the argument is that the Israeli response so the, the 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 attack on them, you know, the argument is that it, it it has been so devastating and continues to be that they are saying that there is going to be some sort of response that is going to you know lead to a military conflict, and the United States would have no alternative but to side with its ally, which is Israel. And and they said that going to initiate a chain reaction of um, events that's going to involve different, at a minimum, probably not a full-scale war, but at a minimum, several wars where they're going to need more people. So I, I don't know if that is why he's saying it. Like, yo, we're going to need more people, so we need people to send over if we're dead for we. <laughs> so he, no, for real. And, and he, no, that's exactly what he's saying. And he's saying, and this is the, this is the, um, how you say 
this is the way we get them in. Right, 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 right. Can I imagine you get right. your green card and be like, yeah, boom, light it dead. Just so. Yeah. Well, the so man I, so I'm dying to take a risk, yeah, man. I, I was just about to say, yeah. them, some other risk me or them, though. Yeah. No, all right, so you, you, this woman, all right, she do a little business thing. Real story, you know, she do a business thing and she mm -hmm. have a little virgin and thing, but party girl and all these things and whatever, you know. And she, um, and the man who she, she do the business thing with now, because she pay him too, you know. They, but then him now go flip it pan and say, yo, I know, say, give me money, you know, but Jan, you, know, you see, if you make this thing a convincing, you know, I think you should have run that something there, you know. I don't want some of that something there, you know. So she was like, nah, that wasn't the agreement. And I was like, yo, I don't think I can go through with this and you know, run the front for me, you know, whatever. So she, you know, I go talk to her bridging. I mean, I said, I agree with the bridging, you know, because I tell you what he said. So he said to her, I said, how long I know, you know? And she said, well, it's a year, so she said. You know, I say several times, you come to me and say, yo, if I see a man, I like a man, I want to sleep with a man, I sleep with a man. And he say, yo, you know, you know, sleep with everybody, but you sleep with who you want to sleep with. And then, enough time you sleep with man, where you just give him a one run and thing, and when the man them all are dead over you, you just laugh half of them. And I say, no, but he just want one half of him, you know. And he say, you have mm -hmm. that something there. So I said, no, he's not when I am like a Christian woman, they who just don't, don't even do nothing or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, girl, you do your thing. So I said, how hard you want this green card? <laughs> right? So I said, yo, if I knock the tea, I knock the tea from before. If you know, say, yeah, juggle with it after I'm a nasty man and in clean certain ways. So just run it, pan him and done. But what I think he wasn't understanding, you know, there's a whole difference if a woman chose to sleep with a man or if she feel like she was forced to sleep with a man, right? Not only that, not only that, the next issue is what is the frequency now of her doing something that she doesn't want to do? Yeah. Because the, yeah, friend, is speaking as if yeah. It's, the friend is speaking as if it's one time or do it until you get through but that could be a ten thousand times and those are ten thousand times that she did not anticipate that she pay yeah, our money yeah you don't have to school you know what i mean like yeah enough time no enough money. time and you know so the woman them, them think they always reach and reach a man them for obvious reasons you know when, when business thing are going you know and the woman and them, the man the man, them all are flipping uh, on the woman, them man, and I said, them for run that something, them man. But, you know, I know of one the instance where the woman, them, where, men where woman flip other, it on a man, yeah? Men, I feel like men pay in other ways. It may not be that, but it may be emotional abuse. Oh, no, 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 Oh God, yeah, I could I could give you hundreds of stories of um mm -hmm. woman who give man paper and treat them like thing and abuse them, deal mm -hmm. with them wicked do some awful thing to them or whatever, to controlling say, or whatever. Okay. You have some terrible woman out there with that. No, but no man. Think... Yeah. For real. Mm -mm. Okay. Anyway, but, but, well, I mean, before you go, I know one situation where a man, a woman, do it, but a big man, female, you know? Right, him did in her late 20s and she did in her, her late 40s, you know? <laughs> and she said, She had give him an imagination. No, she had do it for him. Oh, okay, okay. Right? And then she got to him and said, No, you know, some of us, some of that. And he might eat and whatever and thing like that, whatever. So, and, well, I never me I tell him, I tell somebody else, but me dead there and that's some of So, right over Brooklyn there. Too. So, he might tell, he might explain to my friend, and I said, Dog, you know, so when, I, when anybody I do them something, yeah? you know, you know, if you do it, things say you could have ended up 
sleep with the person, you know, but when you do it, if you think in your hand, I say, all right, if that person you pressure me, I could have stomach and do it. <laughs> no, it's true. No. It's true. As I said, as a man, remember, as a man, you have to do something that requires your body parts to react in a different exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, the right? jana for stand up. <laughs> yeah, so it's more difficult when a woman can shut her eye and just like whatever, this and that. We have to in a state where the thing actually come up the, you know, and he might, so he might tell him, I explain, and I say, yo, she don't even take care. He might say, yo, you know, so anyhow, she could have, you know, pass certain way. And he said, I'm going to work with it, you know, kind of shut my eye and do it. And, and he might say, you know, go, we could have just make she just do a back and say, you don't have to look for her. And whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever. And him daddy asked him, but he might say, yo, she don't take care of herself. And him say, some, him say some other things, I'm going to get it up on the show, but just they, have- they're not flattering at all. <laughs> And he must say, yo, I can't stomach it, dog. I can't do it. And then no. You know what she gonna say she want to. <laughs> 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 yeah. And he must say, no. I must say, even if he stomach it for go, you know, do the sad to him. him, him. And he must say, no, you know, someone do that something, but I couldn't do that with her. I couldn't do that with she. I couldn't do that. So he must say, him nah, go down for him. He must say, him. Say, even if him sum up the courage and find a way for sad to run him, say, him can't, but because she wants swiping to him, man. It's me like, I'm not going to cook on you, too. Yeah. <laughs> but he can't do that kind of thing, I get through. No, you know, well, him say, she say, no, man, I like, I like, I like look a freak in this, you know, I like laying on my back and make the man bite me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sorry, not back. Belly, 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 my back. She said, me like lay down on my belly and make him man bite me. So he must say, him said to, he must say to him, ready, like, you know, say, me never to understand what she mean by that. No. So, me never get to him yeah, ask him, I said, but what you mean? And he must say, what she really want me to do? <laughs> I, so I me say, but me never get the question, you know. So me I say, I don't know, I get, she just want you to bite her. So I say like, but if she tell me straight, so she want me to, you know, I'm used to the SP, but we are going to swipe. I say, if she tell me straight, so she want me to swipe her. And then she going to say she like to lay down on my back, lay down on her belly and me bite her. What she, so I wonder if she, if she has said, if I go put him face, you know, her mouth, you know where never when she left on her belly. I must say, yo, because I must say, yo, if I that she not said to me, then I don't even want it no green card again, you know. I can't I can't oh. <laughs> I must say, you know what? <laughs> nah, nah, I mean I rang him. Nah, God, that's so all you mean. Oh, you mean mm-hmm. that thing. And him said she don't even to take care of herself or whatever. You can't yo, know, some people go through some things, you know, and you know, I just you don't even hear them story and them now nah, go tell it because, you know, it's so rough. But some people sometimes you, you, you hear the saying when you see people with things where them have leave them alone no and we, don't bad no mind we, them. No you person. don't know what them got through person. for each day. So okay. Yep, don't All right. Do All right. not grudge them. Don't grudge them. So, do not Oh my God. Anyway, we, big we up yourself, imagine. you know, and just be happy, you know, your parents have look out for you, so you know, if you make them choices, then you know, you're good, you know, okay, all right? I know, and that's why I'm telling everybody who didn't have that luxury to start with yourself, okay? All right. All right, boo boo, right. blessings. Bye, my darling. Okay, cool. Um, Phone line, daddy. People remember when we did have on a shirt that was the, the, the African theme shirt. So I show you my graphic designer body, you know? Been a. Okay, what is together? I'll bring this over here so no. Yeah. Well, that's a big head raga. Look on big head raga. See the the raga shanty Ghana learn creation. You don't know September the 11th to the 18th. 
and thing, you know, just a work on the fly and thing. So I just make you know, let me see this thing. Ah, uh, I don't know, bring this cross here, so. Flyer, we are sort out the flyer, you see it? Boom, bang, bang, bing. You see, how, you see big head, you see how it make my head look big? I mean, my head big, you know, but look how it make my head look bigger right there, so. I saw it go still, you know? Big head ragger, we are work with it. At the right way, at the right place, my head big right there, so you understand? So, it's all good. You know, look at work did I do, I'm just a show on the still, you know, look at work did I do, and, you know, do the sort out this and that, you know. Graphic designer, go on down. Bud. Joey, if you want him link, when you make me know, alright? When you make me know. Alright, so right here we have it. The No no, I know that. No 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 not that not that not that So the Ragasha Ragasha presents the Ghana Learn Cation September eighteenth to the eleventh to the twelfth, twenty twenty four. Connect with the roots of Jamaican culture in Ghana. Alright, then um this part, you know, it uh One second call, I'll come into you. Um, this okay. part, yeah, this part right here. So, at the flyer, you have this part and thing. Right? And then, um, what would it be now? Would it be this? You know, for more info, info at tamfamtravelagency.com. I uh, you know, don't know phone text, WhatsApp, 718-308-9993. All right. You know, we'll deal with the thing and I set up a thing. All right. You know, and I start with a deal with a thing. We have to deal with it right, you know, man. You have to take a look at time to make sure it's right. And, and that is why, again, as a reminder, I'm actually going to Ghana at the beginning of May. I'm going to be there for about a week. Um, you know, making sure, to take care of everything for make sure so this trip is a success and that the thing sell off. You see me? Right? I am really excited about this venture. And again, I haven't been explaining certain things, but I guess you know, I can't pick up on whatever. I am really big on doing what you're happy with you know i'm really big on yeah work don't sit down and lazy out the thing go out they go hustle and do what you have to do take care of your obligations and take care of who you have to take care of right as a man should um but if you can do it in a way where you're doing something that you don't hate if you get up and do and thing like that then even better you know so you know, me I use all of my resources and structure my thing that we had. Hence, the Ragashanti Travel Club, of course, and the Tam Fam Travel Agency. And and then all these ventures coming up, including my traveling to different places of the world to curate different trips for us to have um, options to go. Of course, you guys won't be going on all of them, but I want to have like, you know, a bunch of trips. So you pick which one you want to go. And just knowing that I will be on each one of those two. So we'll be learning something on each. But we'll be having fun too, right? And whatever happens on the trip, stay up on the trip. It's nobody's business. I don't know. Well, I can't know all of the, you know, the regular stuff. But people, private business. I saw you go, good afternoon, caller. What's up? Hey, Roger. How are you doing? I'm doing really, really great, you know. That's wonderful. Okay. You had a topic the other day that I wanted to call about. Um, what's, what's something terrible that somebody did to you in a relationship? Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to tell you something that happened to me about maybe 20 years ago. Okay, do share. So um, I came here and um, to New Jersey mm -hmm. from Kingston. Um, and I was living there, you know. My, My stuff wasn't, wasn't straight at the time. time. Right. But I was dating this American guy, right? Uh-huh. And the same one helped me out, so obviously I wouldn't have to pay because me and him together. 
Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. Wait, one, wait, wait. One second, caller. For some reason, yeah. they say you are echoing. Oh. Um, I don't know where. Hold on. Let me see something. Wait. Say something again, please. Hello. Still echoing. I know. They are hearing an echo. Um. Hmm, I don't. I, I don't know why. I'm driving, but you're not on speakerphone. I'm not. Oh, they say you're not on speakerphone. No, you're you're telling me that you're not on speakerphone, right? Correct, correct. Sorry, yeah. Oh, but are you use you're not using the car phone, right? Or you're using Bluetooth? No, no. Or the car phone? No. Are you using the car? No, are, no I took it off because I know you always say that about your callers. Right. Um. Do me a favor. Just hang up and call. Or, 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 I'm going to hang up and I'm going to call you right back, okay? Okay, okay perfect. perfect. Right, yes. Cool. Now let me see something. Because I am not hearing the echo, but let me call her back and see if. Yeah. All right. Is it better now? Or no, I'll no. pull over, Roger, because I have to tell you the story. Right, <laughs> right. No, I have to wait till them respond and then see what them say, you know? Um, but go on and talk. Okay. And don't get mad if me, so, if me just stop, you know, based on after them respond. No, that's okay. Yeah, go on. I completely understand. Okay, so after me and the boy, they're right, Roger. We know the situation. All right, about all right stop months. for a second. I, I don't know. This thing was working. Let me see. Um, Cause I you. Oh. Um. Mm. All right. Start now. Let me see if it. Any better now? I parked. No, no. I, I just did something, car. so I want to see if that's gonna make a difference. <laughs> Crystal said, "I'm gonna hear that mix up here in a rag and make you talk." <laughs> uh, uh, oh, them say it's still. I, I, I don't. No, no, no. That's not. Uh... I, I, you see, that's what I'm telling you about these things, you know. Um, me not touch a thing, you know. It that worked fine yesterday, don't <laughs> right? right? And um, and now today, it just decide that nothing was touched, nothing was changed or anything. Uh, let me do something here and see if that make a difference. One second here. Mm-hmm. Because I can understand how it can be um, disconcerting to them. A slight echo, but not as bad as before. Ah, but me not do nothing. So how how it gone? No. Well, oh oh, it, wait. Okay, let me try something. All right, just give me a second here. Okay. People may tell you a machine them name, you know, because me not do not the equipment still just the same how it was. Hello? Yeah. Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it better now? Um, no, I have to wait for them to tell me, yeah? Oh, <laughs> this radio thing. 
Sorry, man. Um, yeah. That's okay. You're fine. Okay. Oh, them say it good now. Them say it sound better. Okay, we're good. All I did was close okay. the software and rebooted it. You know? <laughs> so it's <laughs> a little bit, so I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, so go on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, where were we? So, yeah, um, in normal situation, right? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> instead, my do the things to me, married me and whatever. All right. So we got married, right? Mm -hmm. In about a year and a half going because we have to show certain documentation together like the taxes, he never want to file the taxes with me, right? Because he's always, he's money hungry. Mm -hmm. He never charged me, but he always want most of the taxes. And I'm like, but that's two other another thing. How are you going to get, you know, majority of the money? Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, we would get $3,000. He would want maybe 2500 And I'm like, you can't do that, right? Mm -hmm. So every year, same thing. So one year end up, the second year end up, and he give me half. Like say half, half of the three thousand, right? So fifteen hundred dollars each. Mm -hmm. Him never like that. Raga, the man go get the divorce me. You know the middle of my stuff, you know. So at that point, I got the conditional stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So we can work and go to school and whatever. So I enroll in school because you know we don't waste foreign. We enroll in that school and I do my thing, and then we see the divorce letter like coming out the mail. So I said, so oh yeah, do the thing for me. You stop the something, right? I'm panicking, and, you know, my, my, my lawyer, he's like, okay, well, you're going to need money to do X, Y, Z, right? Now no money, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk to the boy. Come in, I don't want nothing to do with him. And the people that write me, they have an interview with him. So you know how we are. We start praying, and we start doing the most. And anyways, I went to the interview with my lawyer and presented the documentation that he filed for divorce, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't have nothing else to say. You know, I presented the pictures, this and that. Him saying, I'm on divorce. Okay, fine. I don't know why I'm on divorce. Fine, divorce me. So my lawyer come back to the office, his office, and he said, well, you can file this and this, and it's going to cost X, Y, Z, and all this stuff. Remember, I don't have nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Part-time job, and I still live at home. Mm -hmm. So... um. It came down to the point where I think the, the attorney, uh, my uh, my attorney said, okay, you have to pay like 2000 whatever the money was. Mm -hmm. I didn't have it. Mm -hmm. About, I want to say about three weeks later, I got the green card in the mail. And I don't know how that happened. I, I think it was an error. I don't, I just thank God. I do not, up to this day, I don't know what happened. And and so in, in, in that, in that, I think I was here like four years, and I think they said five years you can go be a citizen. I went right ahead and did a citizen. I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to question it. I, I, um, my Malaya, I'll know I'm going to pay him the rest of the money that he said he needed to file the additional paperwork. I didn't because I didn't have the money. So uh, when that green card came in the mail, he was even puzzled. The lawyer was puzzled, right? How that happened, yeah. How that happened, I have no so, idea. So, oh, so hold on. So this, all this happened um, during the conditional state, during the conditional phase? Yes, after I went to the interview and told them that, hey, you know, he filed for a divorce. No, no, what I mean is when him, when him get the divorce and thing and whatever and, and drama, mm -hmm. it was while you were in the two-year conditional phase? Yes. Yes. Okay. So when they call, so when they call in for the interview, it was for the interview to see if them can remove the conditional status, right? Correct. And to get the permanent something. So when you, so so how long did it actually marry though? I want to say maybe going on three years. At that time, it was going on three years. Yes. Yes. So at that time, when it had married for three years, when you actually yes. go in for the interview, right? Correct for the second interview, yes. For the second interview, when they didn't mind for three years, yes. Um, that is yes. why you got it. I have no idea. No, no, I'm <laughs> but telling you. Wasn't you. There. No, all right. Okay. All right. To, to facilitate um, ease of comprehension at first, if you go in for a marriage um, green card, but you're already married for two years, mm -hmm. they don't give you a conditional status. You know, them just give you the ten year. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. But 
say you did married for one year and you're going, right? Okay. And the conditional status is automatically two years. Right? Mm. But say they already married for one year. And when you go in one, them call you after the two years. Even though them call you for the second two years, if if the divorce, mm -hmm. if when the divorced him the go in, he, and you still the unconditional status, but when him filed for the, the divorce, you were married for two years. For more than two years, you can't get yeah. the green card. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So uh, apparently he didn't know that. I didn't know that no, either. No, that, because a but, lot of people think that from them say two years is the two years. But yeah. they always a check from when you're married. Okay. Right. Them always a check from when you're married. So if you're not married for two years, you know, you have to go up on a conditional status. And it going to say for two years. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to call in after two years. But yes. say if you didn't marry for one year before you get the conditional status and then from you have the conditional status and another year pass. So, so even though you have the conditional status so one year, you didn't marry for more than two years. And yeah. even though the conditional status is extending for another year, if when him file a divorce and things, he might get at you and whatever. What him not realize yeah, is that yeah. you done pass a two year of marriage already. Even though you're up on the uh -huh. conditional status, so the officer look for Mark you doing know, the officer can still reject you, you know. Yeah. If the officer sees some reason for say no, but this abandulo, them can still reject you. They have like, they, have, they have the authority but to do that. But the thing is, Raga, they when I was there with the officer, he didn't say approve or not approve. They, no one said anything to me. No, him 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 not for say it to you. Oh wow. He doesn't have to say it to you. Worse if him worse if him a look over and a, and I say you know, worse if it's a good day and him I say, you know, so I'm gonna let her through and whatever. But yeah. then in me I forgot check something else or whatever, or do something or check something and thing and you know. Him not gonna really tell you mm -hmm. that, you know. Him not gonna really tell you that. If 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 him feels right, a boy, right. I'm gonna check back something or whatever. So not no more than him probably go check back and look and make sure say everything all right and say you're good and him and say, you know, so that woman here is not a bad woman or whatever. I mean, I get no feel from her. So right. She's yeah. a bad person or anything. And a and lot I'm of people school, don't know I'm that. doing my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. They, they are allowed, you know, to get a feel from you and if if whatever, you know, if, if you know, that's why when you are, sometimes when you are work with people with these things and you are come up on a client to Good person or whatever, but just come over with a kind of sour attitude and whatever. Them no know said that mm -hmm. alone can't just work against you, you know. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, wow, that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. So ob it's it sounds to me you were personably you came over credible. You see, you were nice and him picked that up, and you were genuine and authentic on some level, and him, and some level the man never seen a reason for say you come this far for not give it to you, you know. But that yeah, why they are yeah. wicked. I'm a dirty man. I'm a wicked. Raga, uh, no, it's 20 years I'm going to talk to the man since then. And you didn't know him before and that, though. He begged me. He begged me for talk. Yeah, him, yeah, he used to come around a lot. He begged me for talk to him. And no, no, no. Um, thank if you. you don't mind me ask, you and him did, you know, did kind of involve? Yeah, that was my boyfriend. It was. Like good That's to what boyfriend? I'm saying, Raga. <laughs> yes. Go up and dance and everything. He was my boyfriend and I felt comfortable enough to t explain the situation to him. No, that was just so awful of and him. Because, and and, 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 and him, I will yeah. add him by yourself for the money. Just for the tax return. That's crazy. But well, that's I... how people are. Jeez, I'm pissed. Nah, man, I'm terrible, man. I'm terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, and that's why I'm I'm happy that it worked out in my favor, you know. I can look back and laugh at it. No, but back then, I was worried because obviously I didn't know the information you're telling me now. I, I didn't, right. I was clueless, you know. Him go so far as, him go so far as figure, um, it, wow. Then him, him go so far as figure, yeah. divorce you, like, you sure I never something yeah. else? Cause that just <laughs> I, sounds so unnecessarily no, harsh and wicked. I got the letter in the mail from the attorney, from his attorney, 
staying divorced. Uh, you know, hey, I wasn't going to fight it. No, what may I say? You sure adjust the tax return and make him get the divorce? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Raga. There was nothing else wrong. No, but you no, know, your man, I, I no, mean, no, no, your man, 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 no, your it's different. It's a total different relationship with Jamaican men and American men. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you said because I've heard otherwise. <laughs> I'm biased. I'm biased. Sorry. No, 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 no. I love my Jamaican men. No, what is interesting, you have all these women out there right now, them done with Jamaican man. I better them go take an American man because them treat them better. <laughs> American man treat you better no, than enough to treat a lady all. and whatever. And them done with Jamaican man and whatever. So you, you no, hear that. Uh, I, we just, we, we get each other. We vibe, you know? Yeah, well. They know how man. to treat you right. They no. speak to you different. It, it's just, it's just, it, it makes me whole. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I was saying something to somebody about that, and, uh, and she got offended, you know, and I was just saying, like, he's just like a Jamaican, even a Caribbean woman, but like a Jamaican woman, he's just, just being in a position where you don't have to explain yourself with certain things, it's a big deal. Right. You know? they, yeah. they get you what you're saying. You know? Well, on. Andrew Purple, so uh, is this Crystal Raga? What do you mean? Andrew Purple? What do you say? What? Is this Crystal? In, in a, in a pan the, pan the, um, Tam Fam TV chat over YouTube, Andrew Purple said, is this Crystal Raga? Um, Why does he need to know that? This is anonymous. No, 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 no. I don't say don't say anything and i know why i say it, and you know why don't say anything <laughs> don't say anything because that's, but he's referring to um it's just a coincidence an incredible coincidence right but he's referring yeah. to a regular caller we had over the years and <laughs> just by coincidence your voice sounds similar to her it may be you never know <laughs> Um, it's you? Right, I only call like three times. It's not, it's regular. No, but my voice is this thing. No, no, but no, 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 no. We have a very special crystal. You, you don't know the crystal. You mean crystal from, from Brooklyn, the crazy one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not me, but my name is crystal. <laughs> well, and so, oh, okay, so you yeah, listen a long time. So you know which crystal we are yes, talking. Yes, Raga, I love her, yeah. but I do love her. Right, I miss as her, she, him, as she, the man referred to. That's it. If you look, if no, you, this is not the crystal one. No, no I if you look her, right in that, if you look over her. upon the YouTube and whatever, even here, lay over upon the Raga Shanti page on Facebook, they must say, say everybody has say you sound like Crystal and whatever. But, but me, oh pick, gosh, well, listen, <laughs> listen, them don't know you, so can I say it? Yeah, yeah, all right, people, her, it's just by coincidence, her name is Crystal. Your name is Crystal, right? <laughs> Right? Yeah. No, but it's funny, you know, because when, this is so weird. Because when I just say, yo, no, Crystal is, but me know I see your name come up, but I don't call Carla's name for obvious reasons and privacy, yes, right? Yes. So I see your name come up and I'm missing Crystal. So when he must say, is this Crystal? For a second, oh, me I must go say, oh, he know you. <laughs> but me know which Crystal he might refer to. So that's why he must say, don't say nothing, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Because I <laughs> know so him not know you, but he might confuse your face. Yeah, that crystal. Well, well is that, that good thing? That is too funny. Yeah, that is, this is hysterical. All right, you <laughs> see what just happened? Just imagine when stuff like this happened with more serious stakes, you know? And thing, and, you know, yeah, people lose yeah. them life and all them something and whatever. Isn't that something? And I'm going to say, 
Yo, oh. because a crystal, me hear the voice, and I need a crystal, she lie, man. You know, said so a girl, a wicked oh, and rare, 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 because we hear her voice, and other people pick up her voice, and everybody see a crystal, and she go say, I know she, and it wasn't you. It wasn't the crystal when I refer to. Yeah. You just happen to name crystal too. Crystal. And your voice just happened for sound like that crystal. Like that. What? You see how much of them lucky and I say you? Which is the, I the crystal? Know that, eh? Braga, I'm telling you, the town farmers, they are town farmers. I tell you, man. Man, they that are, is they so love you and they funny and weird. To everything. I love that. Them no miss nothing, no man. May I tell you? Because me never. Nothing me, at all. Me never see your voice as so, you know. And your purple. My sister step out with and say, Is this crystal? And then everybody else. Uh, because most people listen to me. I <laughs> have a thing on my tell So don't call out people. Not because they're your people. Not because you know something. You're yeah. for post it, right? So I always mm -hmm. try to tell him, say, Sometimes when I know something, I'm mean, going to say nothing about it as a reason. Don't post everything what you think you know. So that's why most people don't right. say nothing. But they were thinking it. But that you, Andrew, come up with it now. I mean, say it now. They roll out, you know? That is funny. That is too funny. Happy Friday, right? And the same to you too, darling, okay? All is well otherwise. Well, thank you so much for listening, Raga. Oh, you're most welcome. Anytime. You know, I'm I'm here entirely at your disposal, all right? Absolutely. Have a good one. Blessing, darling. Cool, good, good. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, that was interesting. Her name is Crystal. And according to Una, our voice sounds just like the crystal. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. I just want to go look some food. Well, for broke my fast, you know. Hello, Raga. Good evening. And a wonderful evening to you, too. Is your evening good thus far? Yes, it is. Great. I'm alive. Yeah. You know, so that's it right there. I'm alive and well. So that is big thank you to God. Very good. So I am a long-time listener uh -huh. and a second-time caller. Wow. So I, <laughs> I was on the train, and, you know, I, I love your show because I mean, adults can be adults. This is a safe space where you can come and, you know, just have it all. Mm -hmm, Sometimes mm -hmm. I be on the train most times coming home and I'm bursting out with laugh. People looking at me and like she's going crazy. But, you know, I just love your show. It, it, it relaxes you. You can relate, you know, very informative. Blessing. And it's a good thing. Because the other day I was telling my stepmom, I said, there is this Jamaican um, lawyer that I listened to his show. I said, I'm going to send you the link. Make sure you follow and listen because, you know, she liked those kind of thing where you can relate and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, apart from that, pertaining to the last caller, mm -hmm. I know of someone mm -hmm. with that same tax return story. Mm -hmm. Her husband and dad, her father, team up against her. Would you believe that? Her husband and her father? And her father. Team yeah. up against her. Oh. Okay. So she came on a visa. She met this guy. Mm -hmm. And they got married. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And he started um, the paperwork for her and her kids. Mm -hmm. Her father is here for over like 20 something years, but he never had the role as a father. He became so close to her husband, which is his son in law, mm -hmm. and started extorting money from her. Mm. When, when, when she do her tax return, mm -hmm. The husband is, and he was into drugs and all of that too. So it's like the the father would would say, okay, tell the husband to do X, Y, and Z so you could get money from her. Because she's a very nice person. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And you know, when you have kids, you know, you want to to do things so that your kids can benefit. And boy, oh boy, I tell you. 
and until now, she's still where where she began. You know, she's still in that same position right now. Still in the same position, and she was living in another state. She had to come back to New York because of the fight, and then you always want money for drugs, and it's it's terrible. No, no, but when you said the. F <clears throat> So her it was father? her father, right? You said who team yeah. up with So with the husband. With the husband. And and basically them what 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 was the source of the conflict? Okay, so what happened is that he's from another state and her father was living in that state. So when they got married they were sharing an apartment with the father, his wife, her and her husband. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, well, her husband, he is into drugs and, and, you know, he, he got records. He got things on his records. Mm -hmm. And, well, she was doing her stuff, working. You know, when you're in that position, you work, work, work to achieve what you want. Mm -hmm. And is that the father and the husband is like, they're, they're teaming up together so that they can, like, ju just keep pulling money from her. Yeah. Even our own father? Yeah, our own father. Our own father. But what what was his reason? What was his justification? What was his reason? Um What what I, what, what I, answer I was his reason? They they had a history well they have a history, I should say, she and her father, because um he never really took care of her. He is here over twenty something odd years. Always lying. Yes, he he filed the paperwork. They they got a whole a whole history, a whole history they got going on. So the and father thing, never filed fear, and then the so the husband did actually file fear. Yes, he did. They went in, and she got denied. Mm hmm. Oh, so yeah. he filed fear. Them going, and she got denied. She got denied. Yeah, because um. The the husband, he had another woman, you know, at your job, you have to put your next of kin and the name and whatever. Uh -huh. he, he put another woman name and he gave another address and a whole lot of story. Yeah, so she got, they got, um, she got denied and... She moved back to New York. But 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 the marriage was a legitimate marriage, though, right? Yes, yes. But but she got denied because the husband, some of them got his um, they've got access to um, you know, his, his record at his job, and him and when him said next of kin, him have another woman named there. Another woman, yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. That yeah, that is not good. I mean, you can explain it, <laughs> but <laughs> if they have reason to, be, if them things say, oh no, you know, if you, in case of emergency, and next of kin, you go put somebody that who is not your mother, I know your sister, I know whatever, is another woman, and who is this woman? Yes, and she said when she asked him about it, he said um. Oh, that was there from a long time, and it was his ex girlfriend, and he didn't change it. So he never explained that. That is what he said. It was an ex girlfriend, and no. he didn't. He, he didn't Did know he, he explain that to the to the to the interviewing officer? Um, I don't, I don't you think don't so. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, well, I think there's more to that and whatever, but um. You know, and, and uh, but you don't think him deliberately jeopardized it for should not get it, right? Yeah, I think I think it has a lot to do with her dad and him because you know it's it, it's 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 history between the two of them. Okay, it's history between the two of them because um they they um. Did you remember a caller had called you sometime last year 
where she was sharing an experience with this um, woman and her husband where where he was married in another country and he got married to her, to her and was um, assisting her getting her paperwork. And he was already married in another... Yes, I remember it yes. vaguely. He was okay, already married so that, in... that is the girl's father. That is my friend's father. Oh, so in a long time, Gina and I always involved in... Okay, okay. Tell me them. about it. Tell okay. me about it. Okay. So okay. It's, it's a lot. It, you know, it's a lot. Wow. And, and, and she's still in that position now, right? Yeah, she's still in that position. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how, how, how many years ago was um this thing happened? What the the filing? Yeah. That's a long time, man, because she got married since before COVID. So and COVID was twenty twenty, so and that was before then. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So she do have any other options now? Well, um, I don't, you know, you can advise people as much as you can, but then if they don't want to go that road, there is nothing I can do as a friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I'm just looking out for her interest. And as the caller was saying earlier, with everything that is going on, you know, just get to yourself right. So... Right, 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 right. You know, so. Right. Okay. Yeah, All right. If you don't mind me asking, I'm, um, what kind? Oh, you were about to say something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that she calls you so you can, you guys can talk more about it, and um, you know, maybe if there is, um, like, have a consultation, share your. Your thought on it, you know, something like that. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. And, um, yeah, because it was a straight rejection. Um, and, 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 um, uh, was, but uh, uh, the, regarding the rejection, whatever, it, you know, she will only need to call me if she has an option. Okay. Right, if she have an option that she want to pursue and need some clarity on some things and to know what mm -hmm. the feasibility of it is and whatever, so forth. But um, I, I don't want to waste her time, you know, and um, yeah. have her call yeah. me and just to tell me what happened, you know. <laughs> you know? Yes, I understand. Yeah, I, know. I know. You don't mind me asking, um, what country are you from? I'm Guyanese. You're Guyanese, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Early, I was I was hearing you talking about Brazil, so I was like, okay, so I can go home and just step over there. Step over there, <laughs> right, right, yes. right, right, in proximity. Yes. Well, yes. Brazil is huge, though, you know, as you know, it's yeah. huge. How you feel about Venezuela? I want to take out this huge swath of your country and and uh, with its natural resources. What's going on? Listen, rather, it's it's crazy, and and if you look at it right now. They're having an issue where the teachers is on strike for for more um for wages increase. In Guyana. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. They're they're like about ten, eleven days now. The the resources that we're getting from oil, it's just going to 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 like specific people, friends, family, favorites. It's not reaching the citizens. It's not reaching the people that need it. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's like over 50% of Guyanese is living below the poverty line. And to know that we're, we're doing how many thousands barrel a day oil, and you can't, you can't. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. so it's it's a lot going on. And I, like I was telling my mother the other day, I said, you know what? The oil should just dry up just like that. No more no more drilling because it's it, it's a lot. And if Venezuela wants to come, let him come take two. It, because it's not reaching the citizen. It's when you see politics is is in stuff, it's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Ghana, is a, Ghana is a beautiful country. Oh, I've been and there I, I three times. And Ghana is, um, yeah. But at the same time, it, I, I, I have to admit, when I went there, particularly the first time, obviously, mm -hmm. I was, um, you know, I, I, I was surprised at the state of um, certain things, you know. And I just, you know, you grew up and you hear about Ghana and Jamaica, you know, because of all the cricket mm -hmm. and whatever. And I just assumed that certain things. And then it's after I go there and then I'm explaining what went on with Miss Amanda, who was running yes. the country for a while and just uh -huh. kind of like, uh -huh. you know. Well, they're there again. And it's it's not about development. It's about my family. We're in there. We're going to take everything. We're going right, to just, right, you know, just right. keep taking, taking everything. Right, just right. imagine gold, sugar, diamond, bauxite. Now we have oil and we still... Yeah, yeah, it's like for, for, for all the resources that Guyana has and known mm -hmm. for. I was shocked when I went there and I was yeah. like, this is Guyana? I was like, you yeah. know, I was like, it was almost like I was 30, 40, 50 years back, you know, and, I was just, and, uh, and then the Guyanese people started explaining to me, like, you know, what's going on in terms of the corruption and thing and whatever. Yes. But Guyana is rich in natural resources, you know. Very, like, very. Again, very, like you said, very. the money is not going to the country and to the people. It's not. Yeah. That is why you would find such a large Indian community in like Queens, Liberty area. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're, they're, they're a lot there. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah, and, and they're coming. Every day they're coming. They don't care what oil, whatever they have there, they're still coming. Right. But but Ghana is a beautiful country, beautiful oh, it country. Is. You know, and beautiful visit. people, and the women are wonderful. I just I just want to put that in, you know. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, what whatever that is. No, I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I don't mean it anyway. Like, great, honestly. I, I'm I'm. Now what happened? You know, I have some colleagues who you know who were working with Caricom. Okay. And you know okay, the Caricom headquarters is in Guyana. So mm -hmm. I had to go there on several occasions and like, you know, back in my younger days and things like oh, okay. that. And it was just um, it was just great, you know. It was uh, wonderful. Yeah, it's a beautiful and it's a beautiful country. Right, but right. it's like we'll have um well I don't even know if we'll have Mashalani on the twenty third. Um because of the strike and you know, it's my thing is we have so much natural resources because mm -hmm. they're saying that it's one of the fastest growing GDP in the world. Because when you when you when you check in relation to the the, the, the size of the population, we have less than a, a, a billion people. So when you calculate that, it's a whole lot of money. But who is getting it? What sense does it make? Mm -hmm. You know. All so, right, but hang in know. there, though. Still a wonderful, beautiful country. I just wish you all yeah. the best, okay? Yes, uh, yes, same here. Yeah, and I love your, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say your emerald green shirt. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I love it. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate yes, it. And Much I, appreciate and Once again, I must say I love your show. I enjoy your show. Okay. I really, really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Just sometimes when I miss it, I'll just go back and, and listen. Okay. My daughter would come in and say, Mommy, who is that man on the TV? I said, don't worry. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> because once I'm at home, you're on the television. I don't I don't um, sing on my phone. So, oh, yeah, you know, once you're at home, you don't listen on your phone. You put it up on the no, TV. No, I put okay. it on the TV. Okay, <laughs> yes. all right. Okay, then you take care. Okay, right? thank you so much, and I appreciate yeah, your endorsement and your support. All right? Yes. Great. Yes, Raquel. Wonderful. I know. Take care. Good. Okay, very nice. Um, so, um, we're going to. I, well, on my um, so my again, Drew, who is I'm um, doing my um, he's just incredible, you know. But he's the one doing my, um, you know, the graphics of my, what you might call it. And uh, him just sent me this thing. So I haven't listened to it yet or seen it. So you're going to see it for the first time. So am I. Um, 
One second, uh, so Mecca. I, I, I come into the phone line. Let me just see this thing. Uh. All right, so let's see. We're going to Africa. We're going to Ghana. This is Ragashanti inviting you to the Ragashanti Ghana Learncation. Connect and reconnect with the roots of our Jamaican history and heritage. Engage in activities that will teach us so much about our extraordinary selves. Experience the profound stories of the slave castles. Me I tell you from now that one day I go deep. See the Ashanti Kingdom celebration. And we're gonna have some fun too. Shopping in the market. Get the real authentic shea butter and black soap. Get gorgeous African print fabrics. We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna dance in the Afro Beach nightlife. All of that and so much more. Contact me now about this trip. Email info at tamfromtravelagency.com or text and WhatsApp me at 718-308-9993. The Ragashanti Ghana Learncation. Ready up! Well, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, that's pretty good. I can work with that. Uh, nice little ad for run and thing, you know? See, I can work with that, yeah? Look at something I go on this, I don't. My thing, Ghana was saying, you know? All right, one more call before I leave. I just want to call back. Um, somebody here was calling. Hello, good evening, good night. What about the evening, good, or what about the night, good? And it's not good enough, this other side of call. It's not good, that's why I'm a call. That's why you're calling. Yeah, for your go go break your fast. Yeah. I have a problem. What is the problem? <laughs> Alright, so you know, say, Wednesday was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, and me done show and I already said me and chicken back. I go on. Right, and everybody know about it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So me say everybody start running and chicken back and something. So I don't say nothing because chicken back always tell us if it's bill and something. Yeah. You don't know what say. Yeah. After the Valentine, don't know chicken back come a class yesterday. Then I said chicken back screech you out. You know what is a man gonna never that class yesterday? Yeah, man gonna never that class yesterday. Yeah, for man two. gonna man gonna come at school yesterday. And so what you say, chicken box absence and mangoes absence, it can be a coincidence. No, chicken back come a mark in here, man. Yeah. And then taking time to slide out of class. Mm. So me I look for chicken back for me I look for chicken back for you so that me can find chicken back. No, chicken it's, back serious. And it's serious. It's no, serious. It's no, serious. It's serious. No, it's serious. Me tell me heart, me heart a palpitate as my granny would have said. No, yeah, stress over him though. Oh it God. It hurt me. Oh it God. No, but let me just try to be um help you right here. You don't know where chicken back going. It's probably just a coincidence why the two of them absent from class, for No, no, huh? no, no. What, 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 what? Mango always are not so far away from me. Always are one. They must listen to your brother. My sister, I know you. My sister, them are run your dog. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And he always are say them for bill and something and the respect when he give me and something. Right, because I'm not encouraging right? him. Never yet encourage it, you know. I exactly. Right, right. He makes sure that he carry me out. Mrs. Chicken back, he carry me out Wednesday. Right. You, Mrs. Chicken back. Right, right. Yes. Wednesday upon Valentine's Day. Yes. So you know, say the local side pieces and them something they get gold the next day or weekend. They know or that sometime. everybody knows say they, them well them claim say the side piece them them get the thirteenth or the fifteenth and them you know them have a rule to them so them not forget the thirteenth either God them can go get before go get done out and then make the you know you know yeah. go get like you know eat and left no pun intended. On the 14th, so them say it's really the 15th. Them forget, so you feel same guy. I, I, I'm going to see yesterday the 15th. Yeah, oh my days, oh Mango my no days. Come a class. Mango always that class on Thursday, Mango always early on Thursday. Yeah, remember last week, Thursday, Mango first called about the kids. I told early Thursday, Thursday. You know? yeah, she said early yeah, and Thursday. And the week before she called early to the Thursday, yeah. 
Yeah, when she when she send that back, go back in and show her name something there. What? Say, what? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yes, that Thursday they went dark by did a beard in local dirty self with the local. Well, we Mama. don't know if that bike did a beer. He said he was, but we don't know that. Uh, whatever. Okay, true, okay. True. We don't know if that bike did a beer. He did. It's quite like he might be a stranger to his bathroom, but that's a separate matter. Um. So, yeah. wait, so where are you right now? I'm me, me, me highly upset. Me but you highly don't, upset you, know, you don't see nothing, you know, you don't see nothing, you don't have no evidence, you know. A suspect, a suspect, a suspect. So, you are stressed over on suspicion. You think that is a good idea? Me nah, me nah suspect nothing. Me know me have me twin tuition. You have your what? Tuition. You have your twin tuition. Your twin tuition. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something now. You have you spoken to any other member of your aunt's nest crew about this? No, because right now we in the aunt's nest crew. Yeah. We are we are done with them man in our class. We can't bother because Craig and Aguana are behaving themselves so. Right now, CBS and our way out. So, I'm not even going to stress out the crew with them, man. I'm what do you mean? CBS and our way out with Craig Dan? Yeah. So, Craig Dan and Miss BF too? Of course. After we talk about Craig Dan and lie, Craig Dan, John not a lie and I'm gone to somebody else. Well on, well on. After on a job, Craig Dan more him a lawyer link and all them something. So he say him left lawyer and gone with somebody else. So who got... Jesus God of grace, why on the one behave? Why on a warm behave? And you sound stressed with you, you know, your voice sound heavy. Yes. Your voice sound heavy. Yeah, yeah. You, you sound like you don't even sound like you stand up. You know, you sound you you get the I'm weak. Down. Yeah, you're weak out down. My week. Yeah, up here in a ball in, in a ball in a bathroom and think I've ever looked at it. No, I'm not a ball in the bathroom. Okay, all right. So you're not yeah. a ball, I'm not a ball. Mm -mm. So you have got you it now, don't Yes. Oh, God. I'm a word, the classmate, them to know it is not right. We can't in the same class and them both say they want to be messy. Oh, oh, that go what? What, 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 what? So we can't in the same class and them come both, they want to be messy and side piece and them something. No, there. even worse. Mango could have turned, look like Mango turned you in the messy. Based from where you are. Uh, two back side because of two years now. Two. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. But look at the brighter side, you got Valentine's Day, you know, so you know, think you should have to satisfy and happy with that. No, no, no. Because all along manga go on and I'll show me see a big chicken back dance last week, you know, chicken back come dance with me and stop my see you. Show me a big chicken back dance last week. Yes. Sham sweetness, no? Yes. Utter slapness. Slapness. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna be a face with it? Right in your face yes, today. Then she have the nerve of contact, but she want me and her to have dance off down a floor. I mean, not in it with her. And that sham sweetness, you know? Yes, yes. I asked chicken back for dance and then want come up dance off. You know, she done, she want done if it. Oh, God. Then I mean, see, I mean, you know, I tell her, 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 she done win already, because I mean, I compete. Then you're going to make them take her chicken back from you. Right, I know, make them go on, you know, make them go on with them because me not even got to talk my plan. You're not even gonna do a wah 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 wah. Me not, me not even gonna talk about my plan. You have a plan? Oh yes. You have a plan? Oh yes. Well, uh, the plan is for sham sweetness or is a mango. None of them. None of them. Okay. So Loy out of the them. picture now. Loy out of the picture fully. You know, lie, lie, read the memo and lie. So you know, so this is not right. Me correct and go on. Me not in the food. So lie, take care yourself then, no? Yes. Okay, yes. Lord, I take care herself and whatever. So, you say, why you think she take care herself? She never did a wallet for Craig Tan or what? No, she that when she when she talk, when she listen and she have, we have said, Lord, this is not right, you know, because you are in a class and you can't listen to your sister to all the relationship. So, she said, you know, so I never me, you know, she explain herself. That is shocking, you know. You know, but um, yeah, she's not she a correct and all she are telling herself to leave her alone. Uh, Emma, 
Oh, you know, she said correct on a yes. draft yeah, and she a draft yes. correct. Oh, okay, yes. okay. She said she didn't do anything. So that's why this is that's why CBS dropped correct turn like a yeah, just kick him to the curb, man. Kick him to the No, no, that's no it's because after that Loy story and we say, All right, and CBS I said she's not gonna leave and something correct turn still at drop is somebody else. That is awful. That is disgusting. Yes. Yeah. You know, see what CBS do right in a class. CBS do say, okay, a long time Romy and I say, aye. Straight up, so, no more hiding with Romy. But, 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 CBS are linked with Romy now? Yeah. Jesus God, so Craig Town get Japan and Romy and get picked up now. Yes, man. Look at Craig Town lose the crab, the barrel, and the string. Craig. <laughs> 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 well, I don't want them, but... <laughs> well, I don't want them. <laughs> what well, is the crack that loose, what? The crab, the bag to put the crab in and the string where you use to tie the crab. The other part, we never hear that one never before. We never hear that one never before. We never hear that one never before. That one never rock me a while ago. That one to get me out of character. <laughs> 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 oh my god okay all right then okay well you know we have observed what's going on let's uh, it, my best guess is that chicken back going come home tonight all right so you cannot come in because you know what say me me just say you know i'm going to want to talk too much of the plan me just go fix my ear look a while because girl don't look too bad when time girl fix her you don't need to go be with the look of cucumber and green tea shower gel you know? yes 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 and get the nails them done yes nah say nothing more a murder a murder so that's murder. the plan you know because girl because if them can do if chicken back can do you can do too oh me can do more and me can do it better <laughs> yeah yeah yes a boy it ever hurt him tonight when him come home and you know dead it down don't talk too loud. Mm -mm. Don't talk too loud. Rua da ga get blaze up. Nah, nah, bun up. Bun up. Bun up. Rua da ga get bun up. I want to some people. I want to some boy. Who na know say you good, good like safe. that. Don't. Yeah. Look, look, we said hurt me now. Look who we going gone out with for two years. Mango. The, Mango. Uh, no, but you don't know that yet. Why? You see, sometimes people... You know, sometimes we don't have to be careful with that, you know. So no blame woman for things and me know that oh, you know that sham their class. Sham the a class, so I can't sham. Alright. You hear the monkey wrench in China, your thing now. Mm-hmm. You assume says mango because mango na their class. You are says not sham because sham their class. Did you notice that Sonia is not in class? Sonia have to miss a G, so I don't need to worry. <laughs> Sonia have to miss a G, so why would I worry about Sonia? No, wait, is it Sonia have to miss a G? Is it Sonia have to miss a G thing, Lux? So you don't worry about that, no? They have to them hard lunch, long time. Okay, all right. Long time for them hard lunch, Gwan. All right, then, all right, then, all right, then. Uh, you never know, so Juliet Legor did late. I know, Juliet. I know Juliet. But Juliet did late. She come class late. Bad, 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 bad. Yes. And she, and she could have, she could have done it. She could have have chicken back in her house right you now under her duvet. <laughs> 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 yeah. And no. just come for tricky crowd for sending her wide, you know? No, I know Juliet. I know Juliet. You can't steal this way for people, here. Yeah? And a mango, mango bright, you know, mango bright, let me tell you. When she she come and go and say, me and her friend and a big up and then something. Near fierce. And a, oh, Java trend in a Java trend. And then she, no, no. Yeah. So she had one. Yeah. And look, I want to look under me no swipe, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why she was playing dog bite over here so she screech here with chicken. But me read the play. Gee, you read the play, do no? Jeez, yeah. I'm peace. What a... No, if I saw it go no, if I saw it go the heights of wickedness. If I saw it go the heights of wickedness and I meet up and I'm and it and burn me too. Oh God. Man, me say a good thing say the ants in school it's strong. Yeah, no. Good thing. Well, and the ants in school strong for real. I just, I them just. Strong, me say me not to let the leave then. 
stronger. The yeah. Alliance, stronger. Yeah. Be strong. Okay. Uh -huh. The ants, they screw. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if the, the crew is really that strong, you know. Uh, uh. Let me say, it's stronger than you think. Oh. Okay. Because uh, dog bite, make a plate to mash it up, you know. Why you say him can't even stand up good in a flower? In a flower. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. I have no idea what that meant just now, but it sound good. But me get it. <laughs> no, man, man, man. no, him can't even stand up good in a flower. Like, eh? you don't know what I mean, but you, you get it. You get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not set right. You can't even stand up good in a flower. I want to tear dog oh, bite. You can't even stand up good in a flower. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and I must say, Tony Del Marine, when, yeah, when, when Tony Tree are beating this evening, I must say, Tony Del Marine won't come out and say, one company may have make him feel mighty and powerful now. Oh, you better have a sit down. Oh, oh, dog bite, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, yes, I swear, yes, right. Interesting, interesting. Well, listen, you know, all I can do is just hope for the best, you know, that this turn out better and thing like that. And I know you, you say you have your plans later, but, you know, I, I think Chicken Back going to come home later and just say that, you know, he had, you know, to work out of town, you know, to do some work. No, you know what? Yeah, that's why I don't believe in the Valentine because you see, one day I'm treat me good and then look, the next two days after, gone. Yeah, that's not really too wonderful at all, you know, but um, you never know, though. You never know. All right. My mind is well made up. I've, I've had enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that comes straight out the soap opera. Right? Enough is enough. <laughs> enough <laughs> is enough. Enough. <laughs> tired of his cheating heart. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Makadai bad song right there, though. Sing it now. Oh, my God. I wish Makadai, though. Bonnie! Bonnie! <laughs> take man, pan him! I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to do that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm not going to make him do what I'm not going to do. All right, then I say a word here. Yeah. Blessings here. All right, Gwanga birthday for Yeah, man, all right, yeah, put us all the best. All right. Yeah, man, you man, you All right, Java, big up yourself. Love and blessing. All right. Yeah, man, big up cool. Big up Antnes Crew straight. What you say, what? Big up Antnes Crew. What? Oh, United that woman. we strong. I will mutter that you know, United we strong. United we strong. President Antash, our Vice President Nakita and HR. Yeah. Yeah. Give me yes, some pretty punchy CEO and all them good things. Well, uh, well, uh, pretty punchy in the ancestors crew. Why you ask? That's my twin. What oh, are you talking about? Uh, what the, uh, uh, no, we need for real, dog bite. We need for really investigate this thing here. This thing here grew and I, and I oh, get like it again. No, no, oh, no oh, this thing here, like no, you. this Anthony Screw thing here, I grew like. We need to, um, like, have some intelligence activities in place, you know. We need to have, like, some spy or some. We need to send somebody, you know, on a crew over there who will look out for we and I tell we what I go on. Yeah, um, that, that, that would be Sean, because we know that Sean had done team or again, but more than she come and go on and say we are not cool. Wait, you said Sean had done what? Team Raga. Sean had done team Raga. And you said more than she go on like she cool and want to come join the crew, no? Yeah, but we know this place, yeah. Huh? No, man. You don't have to put Sham in our crew, man. Come on. Sham mm -hmm. a team, Raga. Sham declare that. What? And nah, Del but... Marie know. Me not trust because me tell Del Marine to declare herself and no, me not tell her nothing. You tell Del Marine to declare herself if she, she, if she want in at the Anthony's crew and she not send yeah, up the writer. Yeah, she a team, Raga. You think Del Marine a team, Raga? Why? As she give the name in the summer, no way I lie all today. Ooh. Not them. Give you which name? I see you in the ants crew. I see the ants nest. Well, the <laughs> ants part do it. The ants part do it. The ants part are you. Well, CBS. Well, 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 me. The ants part are me. Yeah, right. Yeah, but Adele Marie come out and say ants crew and then me run yeah, with it, right? Come out and say ants 
the screw. Yeah, we just roll with me. No, I just think so from 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 the minute, you know. Just the fact that she have the credit for going to the name, you know, you know, you know should I just put her in the crew or she name, you know? You know? No, me a side eye, Del, you know, me a side eye, Del, because Del and we good, you know, I'll see this and I'm really, really good. I'm here, see me that big up Del Street and I said, Ray, my next, my next party, I Del, I go buy my clothes and then something the right, I know me all I wonder about Del. Mm. Well, I don't think because Del is team ragga, you know. I can't see Del just fitting in neatly in the ants nest crew, you know. Right. Oh, okay, well, she needs she she needs to be to come declare herself. Well, what's like her if you ever answer already, auntie? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she go she go cuss it or she go cuss or whatever. Eh? Leave good body there. Eh? Leave good body there. Nah. Eh, uh, no nah, man, you no can't put Dale in on a crew, man. You can't put Dale right. in on a crew. It's still a recruit. Yeah, it's still a recruit now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's our word here. <laughs> All right, thank you. All have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> blessings, man. Love blessings. You. Love me, love you too much. All right, man, that's our word. All One right. time fam, no. Yeah. To the world. One tam fam. Proper. One hand snake. See that? <laughs> one tam fam. One, man. Man. <laughs> one hand snake. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That's the word. Cool. Cool. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, Java Sam played up. I love them humor. I love them fun. Right? This is why, you know, after much rumination and deliberation and consideration. So, you know, so I want to do me enjoy. I want to do me enjoy, you know. I want to do me enjoy. You understand? Yeah. Well, I will come and we I live this life yeah, and whatever and people are dropped down every day and whatever. I mean, I stay in a stressful situation. I want to run good people and fun and caring people and genuine people and authentic people and things. And then people who have relevance in the sense that, um, you know, you can relate, you know, and no disrespect to anybody else, but there's nothing like hanging out with Caribbean people, you know, we just have a little thing, you know, everybody have them little thing where them enjoy, we have our thing where we enjoy, no, me not take no more card, me need for leave, dog, dog bite, me need for leave, me know what this is gonna happen, you know, I want to do this every time the show are done. done, every time the show are done at that time, the whole hour not call, me need for leave, I forgot to break my fast. You know what I'm saying? I fast. I forgot to break my fast. You know what I'm saying? I fast. Where are you? Say, what? 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 We're not hearing you. You talk up in there. You have to put your mouth right by your cheap phone. No, I remember my headset. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to relax. Tell, tell her if you um, leave Delmarie out of them. Jack, dog, right? Speak up now. We're not hearing you. All right. Well, all right. You see, me, me yeah, need to go and the man come and at... What? Can't see I hear me now. Yeah, we are hearing you now. Um, take off the headset. Yeah. yeah. Tell um the lady that they leave um Delmar, you know, tell them local crew. Cause uh, Delmar will a tapa tapa girl. She not really in you know, the mix. I just do Antasha. I the only one in the crew with substance. So she 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 can leave Delmar you know, tell it. Okay. Okay, so she will leave yeah, them yeah. out of them yeah, local yeah, crew yeah. because them yeah. marina tap a tap something. So yeah, yeah, you yeah, basically have said that look at crew they are pian pia to Del Marine status right here now. They are cool. Them they are peepee crew. Them they are what? Peepee crew. Peepee crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? A peepee crew that a Del Marina giant peepee crew. Eh? When you pass them, they rank. When you pass them, they rank. When you say peepee crew, when you walk past them, they rank. No. Yeah. Yeah. Them below Del Marine. Yeah. Del Marine in a pit. When you pass Del Marine, Del Marine smell good. Del Marine rank. No. Yes. Yes. Del Marine after a beer, beer with cucumba, cassava, and all of them something. I'm, I'm plant juice. I like beer, so like What you say? Then I feel beer with cucumber and cassava and plant juice. Cause plant that the ants they screw a beer with. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that bad. 
That bad <laughs> me, I tell her, say, no woman can come sparse against me and go and style me up on a plant and juice your beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, come style me. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Don't come out with your little plant and juice, Selva. What? <laughs> yeah, for me, so. Yeah. I'm just going to just leave you with that. Go and go break your fast. All so right, so people. Plant, plant and juice school for the sit up. Yo, you can right. imagine the time from get together March 15th. Don't. No. Yeah. yeah. I'll be yeah. having yeah. vibes every while. I'll be having vibes every while. Don't. Mad something, yeah. man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. Big up, man. I'm a supermarket. Eh? I still have a car in the supermarket. You still have a car in the supermarket. I always yeah, see rank a plant and juice, do no? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Big up, man. Cool. Yeah, man. Right, cool. cool. I got me a turn off the phone. Yeah. Because then I fall down. Hold on there. Okay. One more round of this, you know, because. And you forget this thing up. Oh! We're going to Africa. We're going to Ghana. This is Ragashanti inviting you to the Ragashanti Ghana Learncation. Connect and reconnect with the roots of our Jamaican history and heritage. Engage in activities that will teach us so much about our extraordinary selves. Experience the profound stories of the slave castles. Me I tell you from now that one day I go deep. See the Ashanti Kingdom celebrations. And we're going to have some fun too. Shopping in the market. Get the real authentic shea butter and black soap. Get gorgeous African print fabrics. We're going to go to the beach. We're going to dance in the Aqua Beach nightlife. All of that and so much more. Contact me now about this trip. Email info at tamfromtravelagency.com or text and WhatsApp me at 718 718- 308-9993 The Ragashanti Ghana Learncation Ready up! One time Good to go No gazing around here That's the thing they do. Everything is everything Alright people watch you riding Our ligaments in a scene um, Donna Roberts was giving me some advice On breaking my fast Let me go and read Thank you, Donna Robertson. Yeah, man, it's all about some veg right now. You see it, man. Say, see the side chicks matter. It was Rita versus Cindy, Jada versus Steph. I know this Java. <laughs> code you know and I need to find chicken back you know and just kind of give my edge up and make him know what I go on and thing I would just know have to cover for him and thing all right chicken back you need to link because we need to get to score straight you see it chicken back you need to link me and thing and whatever I make you know where I go tell Java and thing which one I we name me I go call so that when Java call me and say yo you did this so and so and so I know she'll come under Sykes 
Because she'll try to confirm what you tell her. We know what is what we have. We think on the CMP. Take it back. Link up. Link up. We got you, bro. And big up yourself, you know. Romeo Lange, I'm Jagans, the whole crew, CBS, everybody, you don't know. Big up for yourself, 20 green, yeah. 20 green's a chicken back there, Mark. Yeah, my buy food for cook for job, I just send it. Yeah, I think if they tell me, you know, so I'm a figure, Mark, I'm yeah, a do a special dinner for job and all these things, so I'm there, Mark, it's a buy up the things, you know. But you have some special things and whatever, it'll take a little time, you see me? 